Coming up on Just Elders Podcast. Four weeks away from episode 200 live podcast at the Russell Center. Uh, so we're calling all podcasters, sure. podcast producers, yes. podcast enthusiasts. Yes. If you just been thinking about a podcast and you ain't never started one, we want you to come. Can I tell them one of the prizes? All month long, All it month. is Black Women History Month, and we are letting sisters take over the podcast. Y'all telling me some shit I didn't know. I'm like, okay, what happened with COVID? Was it the vaccine? Ready? Born ready. It's Wednesday. Time for your favorite podcast, your favorite podcast. Hey. Today we vibing. Shout out to the Virgin Islands. <laughs> bop, 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 bop. Hey. 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 That's how I'm feeling right more here. More fire, more fire, more fire. Where my lighter? Where my lighter? Where my lighter? <laughs> hey, it's still Women's History Month. We vibing with the sisters all month long. God damn, can April get here? Ooh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, hey, I like this track. Hey, man, Virgin Islands, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Destined for greatness. Y'all know we destined for greatness. We gonna do it like this. What's up, family? You tuning into the Just Elder Podcast, the hottest podcast to ever hear the airways. I am super excited. We're about to record the greatest episode I have ever recorded. I say it every time, and I mean it every single time. Welcome, welcome. Episode one ninety. What? One ninety. Four weeks away from episode 200 live podcast at the Russell Center, April 23rd, 2 o'clock. So April 23rd, come check us out. Save the dates. Russell Center, 504 Fair Street, Atlanta, Georgia, 30313. The event is free. It's not actually not free um, because we're charging good energy. If you ain't got good energy, stay your ass at home. Well, we'll take a bit, Buddha. <laughs> Hell no. Nah, nah. I don't want no uh, big booty with bad energy. Get that ass on. <laughs> oh, stinking booty. Oh, stinking ass. <laughs> Get your ass on. Oh, <laughs> nah, good energy, good energy. We are charging good energy at the door. Episode 200, man, and we got a real special treat. Um, so we're calling all podcasters, sure. podcast producers, yes. podcast enthusiasts. Yes. If you just been thinking about a podcast and you ain't never started one, we want you to come because we have a gift for you. And if you have a podcast and you've been rocking with our pod and you like, man, we see what y'all boys doing over there. You yeah. know, we rocking. We like, hey, man, we got you. Like, yeah. Promise we got you. We, we got come to the live pod. We got you. We got a gift, man. So on our day of celebration, we are celebrating y'all, and we're giving away a lot of gifts. It's gonna be, I mean, I, I'm excited. I'm giving a, away everything. <laughs> everything must go. Everything. <laughs> Can I tell them one of the prizes? And is gonna is it? Right, I know. Go ahead and tell them. Go ahead. And tell all them. right, man. You know this. This will get them hype. Yeah, yeah. It just, uh, so I because I want to just tell them one of the because I know it's a whole. Just tell them one. All right. Well, all right, one. We just want to make podcasters better, so we're gonna give away a roadcaster. That's, that's it. That's, that's all it. You can that's, say. All, that's, that's, all you that's one say. of the gifts. That's, that's one of the you gifts. Say. You know that's what I'm saying? You can say. So if you wanna, you pod, you see, you see us on the pod. Keep hitting them noise in one time. You know. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I mean, we got other shit we want here too, but we just ain't get to it yet. Oh yeah. shit. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> you want to be able to do this on your pod? You tired of nigga dancing? <laughs> Why niggas do that with the voice? <laughs> Anytime you put that voice on, niggas start slowing down their own shit. It's like when you record in slow mo and they know you about to be in slow mo. They about to move slower. Like, nah, I'm about to do it like that. But yeah, yeah it's shit fire. It do a lot of shit. One thing, but we'll explain all that new videos. All that coming. All that, all that. 
Episode 196, uh, we are excited to be here as promised all month long. All it month. is Black Women History Month, and we are letting sisters take over the podcast. Last week was great. I had two super important ladies I've been knowing all my life. This week, I'm following it up with one just as important. Uh, I met this young lady <laughs> December 22nd, <laughs> 1989. Damn. She was born two weeks before me. She's not my sister, but she was raised in the house like my sister. The biggest Disney. She was <laughs> Disney Plus before Disney Plus. You can't name a Disney movie that she don't got on VHS or DVD. I'm guaranteed. <laughs> Hottest dancer in the game. Oh. <laughs> Hottest dancer in the game. Not better than Chucky. Oh, I used hey, to get hey, Chucky. She's, she's, oh, she's, she's, hey, look. In her heyday. Yeah, in her heyday. Hey, you said it no. Hey, you said it no. In her heyday. Definitely uh run for the money. Uh y'all, this is my cousin, man. Y'all make some noise for Tiffany. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. What's up, cuz? What's up? I'm so happy to be here with you, man. You know, I can't talk to this dude unless I'm on the pod. So, <laughs> oh my oh, God. so I'm happy to be here. Oh my God. Man, why everybody say that about you? <laughs> leave me at like it's I always come to the, the family reunion, bro. Like, come on. <laughs> you, could, you could leave a comment or put it in the speak pipe. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, and then we'll comment on the pod and reply. Yeah. I'm yeah. Talking, it's like, hey man, you coming over on Tuesday? <laughs> <laughs> That'll force me. Oh it'll, yeah. It'll oh, make yeah. good content. Uh man, first of all, appreciate it. Like you're like a real listener. Yeah, I listen. Like, and I I've been telling Keith this. To me, the greatest compliment is your family fucking with your shit. Wow. That's like the greatest compliment for me. Cause yeah, it, for sure. It's so easy for a family to, you know, take it for granted. Oh, that's, right. oh, that's man, he do whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, that's whoop, whoop, whoop. Like when your family, so when you call me and you be laughing about what we talk, <laughs> like when my cousins call me or my siblings call me, like right. that is more motivating than any other person out there telling me what they think about the podcast. So oh, that's great, man. Well, you're actually entertaining and funny. So it's, you know, it's not work to listen. I actually be waiting for it to drop on Wednesday. Hey, like, yeah. that's what I'm I like that. Or shit. if you give me an extra, extra episode, like, oh, wait a minute, oh. like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tell you, boy, this thing is yeah. aligning. Yeah, yeah, the universe is definitely. Oh yeah, aligning. Um, what's been your favorite episode and why? Ooh, as we lead up to 200, so no matter where. There's been a lot of them that, I mean, you, you literally have me in my office laughing. I'd be trying to, like, close my door so people in the hallway don't hear me. Um, I would say last episode with Aunt Paulette and Becky, like, it right afterwards, listen to it, yeah. I, I called you, and I was like, hey, I got to get on the pod. Like, <laughs> yeah, she did. She was like, I need to get on Yeah, that. it was that's, so that's funny. Fun. Like, that's yeah. That's fun. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, that, that was that was good. It's funny because mama was trying to do that serious shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you and Becky like, <laughs> my man, oh, well, my bad. Let me, Winnie. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Winnie. Nickname's okay. Nickname's okay, okay, okay for family. You know, you know what I'm okay. saying? You know, we, we can do, we can do, you can call me man on here. All right, bet. Yeah, because uh, I, you know, Victoria Celestial now, like, damn, okay. I don't know no fucking about it. What's your middle name? Dane. 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 <laughs> <laughs> So, so oh, he Dane or, or Dane. It, no, <laughs> and see that's how they used to make fun of me growing up. So Keith, my middle name is Dane, mm. Tiffany Dane, and man, them used to be like, yeah, Dane, here yeah, she called Dainty. Like, that's why I like Dainty. Nah, it's no, like, they say like Great like, Dane. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <yeah. laughs> now what it was when she was born. <laughs> what it was, the parents they were naming it and then you know mom was like Tiffany her daddy wanted a boy he was like dang you <laughs> stupid and they just kept it bro. no I was actually named after Taylor Dane which is a pop singer in the 80s 
believe I, it or not. I never knew that. Yeah. So Tiffany Dane. Damn, yep. I, I know. We wouldn't know either. See, Tiffany, I always thought she was going to hell when we were growing up. <laughs> <laughs> because we grew up in a Christian household. And Tiffany, she used to watch rated R movies. I was in a Christian household. I was in a Christian household too. It's just my parents wasn't as strict. Like if I, we were, were real no, Christians. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was just talking about that. Like, I see it creeping back up. Like no. more people going to church. No, like, man, they're doing a motivational speaking tour, man. Right, man, it was like little Bethlehem, like. I couldn't even come in the house. <laughs> Little I to, yeah, I, I couldn't even come in the house because I had pants on. Like, I had to have a dress on. Like, yeah. What? Or, what, 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 I didn't know y'all were that extreme. <laughs> Keith, I was, they said I was going to hell because I knew Whitney Houston songs and verses. Well, I knew that because they explained that part of me. But I yeah. didn't know y'all couldn't wear <laughs> Whitney Houston, that rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they ain't gospel rock and roll. Man, so yeah, so that's why you know they they, I guess growing up they remember. So this is your name, Nathan. Mhm. Super eighties pop. I mean the whole video, everything eighties. You know her family. You know you know her parents were partying. Oh yeah, like, for sure. got them. <laughs> my mom and my dad don't really party. Wow, boy, I wish I wish I could see the lady hair. <laughs> this one got a curl, a straight, a bun, and what's that little bullshit, the little crinkle shit y'all yeah, used to do? Yeah, oh my crinkles. god. Oh. Oh, okay. I do know this song. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, he a fake Christian too. <laughs> <laughs> Church of Christ. Wow. And we're back. Uh, so super glad to the have the screen already looked different, right? I know, right? <laughs> Uh, so super glad to have you on, Tiffany. Now on to my next guest. Uh, this young lady is a brilliant, intelligent, beautiful, talented, creative, dope-ass sister. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I had, a, had an opportunity to work with her on set on a project. Super excited, waiting for it to come out. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be real cool. Um, but she definitely had good energy, and uh, we said... First of all, we met before, and then somebody connected us via text message. So I think I asked for your number or your name or something, and then she sent me a contact card, and it was her, it was her, uh, her picture was on it. I was like, oh, shit, we know each other. And then we officially got to work. So, Facebook friends, Facebook friends. Yeah, yeah, something like that. <laughs> something like that. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause. First time on the pod, Miss Shayo. Hello. I'm like, am I supposed to talk now? <laughs> Hello. Hey. 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 Bop, 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 bop. But we on, we on them island vibes today. We on them vibes. We on them vibes today. Them Afro beat vibes. We came in to a little pressure. Okay. We on them today. We on them today. That's funny. So you, uh, when if, before this song, when people are struggling with your name, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And even still now, you know, because it's spelled S-A-Y-O. And so it's there's a dot under the S in the Yoruba language. So how I used to help people is with like, I would say my name is like Shade. Because it's S-A-D-E-S-A-Y-O. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. So you said Yoruba language. So you Yoruba? I am half Yoruba. But yes, my dad's Yoruba. So technically I'm supposed to be full Yoruba. But yeah. Okay. Nice. Nice. I'm half Yoruba, half Calabari. What's so that? T- two different tribes in Nigeria. Same, all in Nigeria, just mm-hmm. two different tribes. Mm-hmm. They it's still pretty much t- like being mixed. For real? Mm-hmm. It's like I'm half country, half city. Cause my mom from Monroe, my dad from New York. Right. Something like that. But exactly, like you're from the south and north, two different but tribes. In, but in Nigeria, that's considered <laughs> like mixed almost. Pretty much, wow. yeah. Yeah. We call Mitch Tiffany Future Baby. We'll get that to we'll get to yeah. that later. Yeah. We'll get to that later. <laughs> I mean, hey, they, they, we'll get to that later. I already know. I, I'm ready. <laughs> but Americans would call them black. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll get to that later. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. That's, that's, okay. See, I still do tribes in Nigeria. That's what's, that's cool. Oh yeah, definitely. Tribes is is heavy. <laughs> mm. 
it's like we just had an election and it was like definitely tribal situations going on in that whole situation. Oh, wow. Did the did the election come out the way people wanted it? I mean, obviously there's always a division, but like I will say that the millennial voice is not so happy about the election. Gotcha. However, some people are. So I was in uh, Kenya last year, August, and everybody was like, yeah, you you not scared to be out here so close to the election? And, mm-hmm. and I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, man, we know we vibing, you know what I'm saying? So I'm talking to all the people like just I love on the continent, they are for real about their politics. Like everybody I talk to, like, is engaged in it. Like we can talk about the presidency can come up tomorrow in America. You can talk to three people, they'd be like, Yeah, they wanna know. Other people they don't care about it. But everybody I talked to, like, they were locked in on it. So and then they have the person that they wanted to win didn't win, but uh, so I was wondering about that. So. Yeah, yeah, it, it's definitely like a rigged system, and it's not like hidden mm. in the rigging of it. And everybody is invested. And if you if you all watch some videos on it, you'll see like it gets violent. Yeah, <laughs> it gets why, real violent. That's why they're like, you you out here? Yeah, you know, like, I wasn't yeah. gonna be out there for the election, but I was out there. Yeah. It was like I was out there like a month before. Like they prepping that early, like. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they're prepping like a couple years early, honestly. And I was there like just December, January. So everybody was like, "Wow, like you're here before election. Wow, it, it, you're, uh, you're uh, strong. Like, <laughs> you're strong, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, <laughs> woman king." <laughs> like, how, how often do you, do you go back home? Mm, well, so I grew up going there like for three months every summer mm-hmm. until I was about like five years old. And then I went again when I was 10 for like a month. And then I hadn't gone until I was like 24. So then 24, then 20. Then I started going like every year pretty much since like 2019. Mm. What slows it down? Oh, yeah, I'm about to say, what what slows it down though? Like you say you went area to your five and then 10 and 20. Like why the breakdown? Huh. I can tell you why. Well, okay, you tell then me why. <laughs> I want to hear your guess. I'm curious. What do you think? Baby daddy issues. You, you're correct. You're correct. <laughs> nigga, you got three, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And it be like every, it's like every summer, every summer. And it's like, hold on, we stopped. That was the year we was beefing. And you paid back up. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, and then my grandfather, so my grandfather passed when I was 10. And mm. then it was like, my mom was like, had to. Yeah, we all had oh, to hey, go. You got Took to. off school yeah, you got to. for a month. And then once I started making my own money, then I'm like, all right, I'm going, going home. Yeah, plant plant no seeds. Yeah, no seeds. come back home. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. I, I know, nigga. I called it. Where are you from? <laughs> Me? Mm-hmm. Charleston, South Carolina. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. okay. Oh, yeah. So, boom. All right. So, she also has a nonprofit, um, the, the Motherland Mission. That's right. Yeah. The Motherland Mission where she do what I do, take people to the motherland. Nice. But she also does Geechee tours, Geechee Nation tours. Oh, mm-hmm. in Charleston. Charleston. So we're we're planning our inaugural experience for Memorial Day. But yeah, so Charleston, Geechee Oh, so this will be the first year y'all do it. Mm-hmm. Are you Geechee? Going to Beaufort as well. I am not Geechee, mm. but I am pa- I One of our board members is Geechee. And I'm like passionate about like preservation of culture. Mm-hmm. And it's almost like the the Carolinas is ground zero right. for, yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah. the slaves, right? enslaved yeah. Africans that came here, you know, and to per, like preserve that history mm-hmm. is important mm-hmm. and share the culture. A lot of people don't even know yeah. that Gullah Gullah Island is like a real thing. It's the real people. It was real <laughs> like, people. Like you, you see the frog yeah. and you see Benya Benya, you're like, oh, where that from? Yeah, all like my cousins were on some of those shows, like oh, some of those episodes. So, really, and I love that because see, I told uh, Saba shout out where the party Tim Scott from Charleston uh, running, maybe running for uh, president. Mm. And um, I was telling her in South Carolina is is you do have two different type of black people. You have people who kowtow and kind of don't want to fight back, but you have a real revolutionary spirit because. It was ground zero. Right. And based on your lineage, you kind of was on either side. But when it comes mm. to the Geechee and the Gullah, they're like the last bit of people who kind of preserve the language. That's why when you go to Charleston, they sound like they're from the Virgin Islands. Mm-hmm. Right. Like we, we right. just did a podcast. Yeah, that, that Geechee talk. That mm-hmm. Geechee, it, and, but you would think it's <laughs> island. You would think they're from the <laughs> islands and stuff. So like when my cousin was here, you would have thought she was from, right. I don't know, I'm from Charleston. You know, mm-hmm. I lost my accent. I went to a I, white school. I told you he was going to love it. <laughs> 
yeah this is dope we're gonna have to definitely yeah i'm gonna have to come check it out it makes yeah. sense legit yeah for sure for sure i like that though because we need more people because uh there's a lot of stuff going on with that geechee in south carolina and they're writing laws to even just mm. backdoor your way into stealing that land it's, it's crazy it's no crazy. you're right that's so that's a part of like so i've spoken to queen quiet and like you know kind mm. of been involved in the community a little bit elder carly and stuff like that you going out in may i'm gonna ride yeah dope dope just Elder's field trip? Hey. <laughs> hey. Not for hey. real. My dad been talking about going back home in May. Okay. So like we Let's do it. so May is around the time we were talking about going. So I definitely need to go. Let's Coordinating the sprinter brand. What, what time are y'all doing? What time? Cause I, I leave May twenty eighth. When y'all going? Memorial Day weekend. Oh, uh, so that's probably Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. That. Well. Are you going to No. No, okay. So and they gonna be off, so Matter with. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's Set what it up. up. Like, that's how I plan to oh, like that. Oh, look at this. Nice. Yeah. 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 Now, so we'll, we'll, connect, we'll, yeah, we'll connect after the pod, but for sure, definitely got it. Yeah. Because you look like my cousins in there, so you'll fit right in. That's that's what the elder Carly know, was like. You looking you. like one of us. I was like, we yes. are all one, for yeah. real. Like, yeah. that's really what it boils down to. We're just distant cousins, you know? Yep. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Hey, man, I told you. <laughs> Every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, all right, ladies. We made a promise, me and Keith. I uh, made a promise to the sisters that we're going to honor them by lending our space and making a safe space for sisters all month long. And this month we're honoring and giving sisters a platform to talk about whatever they want to talk about. So the podcast is officially starting. The brothers are here to listen and learn, engage, and positive, impactful dialogue that we feel like is going to help the community abroad. Mm. Mm-hmm. So what do y'all want to talk about? Actually, as you said that, a topic came to me. What? Do you have something? No, you go ahead. The menstrual cycle. Mm. I feel like we don't be talking about that. <laughs> okay, I said y'all can talk about anything <laughs> but that. You see? No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Interesting enough. <laughs> we're educated on this now. We're actually Are educated. You? Yes, we do. So you know the cycles of that we go through all 27 days and yeah. We well, know we know that and we also know how much it shifted during COVID. <sighs> okay. Menstruals were shifted during COVID. Mm-hmm. I'm not aware of this. So there's this thing called pandemic periods where, you know, as you know, when you're having your period and you're under a lot of stress, mm-hmm. it could knock off the days, knock off the flow. That's mm-hmm. true. Well, under COVID, there was a lot of stress. And your eating habits weren't the same. Your sleeping habits weren't the same. And you may be cohabitating with other women whose cycles you were sink. different too. So mm-hmm. now you start sinking. Now you might be off because you're not doing the normal routines. So that was a whole thing that out mm-hmm. of COVID, women's periods had to get recalibrated. I would just have to give a shout out to Dr. Green. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Dr. Miranda. Yes. Okay. And Dr. Guffrey. The co-host of Take, Take Good, Good Care, Care Podcast. Podcast. Produced by... <laughs> Just Elders Media. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Because, yeah. I mean, y'all telling me some shit I didn't know. I'm like, okay, what happened with COVID? <laughs> was it the vaccine? <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> mine, mine was pretty consistent. I'm I'm pretty normal, you know? Yeah. No, it didn't change. Too All right, so what you want to talk about about it? No, I, I mean, if you guys had a whole podcast episode about it, we don't need to go further. You could just refer people to... I mean, episode. we also know about them when you don't know about them. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, what? They are past Not episode. yet. Not yet. Just wait. Just, just wait. wait. Come just on, wait. Days. You tripping. You might be good. Oh. You just stress. <laughs> you just stress. <laughs> see, see, I learned my secret to that. It's like when a kid falls. <laughs> <laughs> you ignore it. You wanna, if you don't say nothing, he don't cry. But as soon as you turn you around, want, you don't want to scare it. <laughs> see, we give y'all insight into the male brain right now. Oh, That's okay. how we see period. That's <laughs> how we see period. We just I just know. remember what Wayne said. You know, he said you better wear that latex because mm. you don't want that latex that I think I'm late. Tips. Mm. So that's that's what your relationship with the menstrual cycle is. Clearly. Is it coming? 
Is it not? <laughs> you know, we tend to be more social during ovulation period. Right. Oh, for you real? Know? Yes. Wow. So there, there is research that shows um, women that are dating when they're ovulating, you'll tend to go for the guy with the beard or a five o'clock shadow. Um, it's, huh. it's sort of, it's sort of like a evolutionary thing, right? You want the strong, protective guy. No, nah, I thought you wanted me like uh, Jonathan Majors. No, you know, on the but, front of cover. but when you're not ovulating, you'll go for the more financially stable one, the the less grittier one. But when you're ovulating, it's like it's like instinct kick in. I feel like I've read something about yeah, that. Yeah, like you're super horny. So it's not good to date. Well, <laughs> I just had a question. So when you say ovulating, does that mean like so y'all like like y'all wet? That what you mean? And well, you can be more we wet. We tend to be more. And your breasts, that's, that's, oh. and that, your, your ain't breasts that when you, are heavier. Ain't that your window to get knocked up? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the wow. ovulation window. Like, cause you know, this thing hitting different. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and we're, we're ready to be outside and meet whoever. Yeah. yeah like it, it, I mean, your body physically changed. Like your breasts are heavier. They're perkier and everything. And we're we're letting out more of the so dudes pheromones. don't even realize that they're more attracted to us during that time period because yep. we're letting out the pheromones, you know, and things like this is happening. <laughs> you know? Our primal nature. Somebody, <laughs> somebody, <laughs> Look, I just Great. got, I just got through it. Yeah. I just so got true. done with March Madness, so I already you know, like this around, you know. <laughs> <laughs> around May, June. <laughs> <laughs> so all your babies are born nine months later. Is that what it is? I get a February baby and two March babies. It's okay. like a couple of days apart. So it's oh wow. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Summertime. <laughs> you know, but that's so, the whole thing, and it's like it's better for us to have meetings during that time frame because we're just more like active, social. And then when we're going into like the follicular phase, it's like we experience different emotions. It's better to eat certain ways. SAT word. What was that? You said follicular. Follicular? Yeah. So, you know. I, and this is a topic. I mean, we could right. talk about this. I mean, now we're here. We're here. Let's do it. Is that, yeah. is that, is that is the root word like from follicles? Right. Mm, okay. So, that's so like, I don't want to like misquote put medical terms, but okay. the follicular phase causes us to have different, you know. This Wait, is after it? ovulation. Right. Right before the egg comes down mm. to be released for the period. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Look at that butt. <laughs> Look at that butt. <laughs> he on it. He on it. No, you know, I'm, I'm a girl dad. I'm a girl dad. <laughs> okay. I'm preparing, okay. My, I'm preparing can, myself. Good. You, preparing good. myself. You can tell I ain't. Girl, I'm like follicular phase. Like, can, like, can, like, I ask y'all, <laughs> can I ask y'all maybe an invasive question? But like, do you know what age were you when you had your first period? I guess. What, what age was that? I was 10, fifth grade. And I was nine, yeah. Jesus Christ. Turning 10 that year. Damn. I'm getting scared. Mm-hmm. So we're Damn. similar. Yeah. <laughs> People be so surprised when I'm like nine. They're like, what? Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. So I've been in this thing for a while. And how how did your dad react to it? Great. Yeah. But my I'm a girl dad. Yeah, okay, so. okay, Clyde. He got a lot of girls. He don't he don't seen it. I oh, mean, so my, it was... my dad bring me snacks and Okay, you know, so it wasn't his, was his first time. He already right, knew. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. I was kinda like Wanting to hide it, like I was like, oh, I don't want to talk about this thing. Like, well, you know? my mom made me tell my dad, and I cried. I didn't want to tell him. I just felt, I just didn't want him to know. Yeah, not it's my dad. So weird. <laughs> yeah. But once I told him, what? y'all remember that movie when the girl like, I'm dying. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Carrie, is it Carrie? <laughs> See, me and man be vibing on movies because we movie buffs. <laughs> I believe it's Carrie because like, her keep, mom keep never it, told her. Keep you more of a, a movie buff than me, but I can't remember what I think movie. She's it was. talking about Carrie. She started a cycle in high school, and they were making fun of her. And she went home, and I can't remember what that shit was. But funny, anyway, so. no, I knew what it was. I mean, you're taught about it, you know, in school, and your parents talk to you about it. Mm. I just didn't want my dad. I just felt like I wasn't his little girl anymore. Mm. Mm. For real, at ten, yeah, you get your period now. Mm. That's crazy. It's different, but. It, then did y'all feel after your period came, did you now feel responsible? Well, I felt like I had to carry my purse around. So mm-hmm. I felt like a little more like, okay, That's I'm like carrying my purse. Yeah. Like, you would, you would can't <laughs> count your days, your cycle. So you'll know when mm-hmm. it's going to start again. Yeah. My mom had me put it on the calendar. And funny enough, my mom actually like did this whole thing where she's like, okay, 
So now if a man touches you, you can get pregnant. And I'm like nine years old. Like what? I ain't trying to get pregnant. Like She's like, there's a program. It's for angels. <laughs> this and this. You, you can wait till marriage. And that was just like, now that's when I, it became like, wait till marriage. <laughs> See, that's get pregnant. Google and shit. Cause I was trying to hit baby girl with that. She don't Google that shit. Like, ain't no program for angels. It's like <laughs> they out here fucking. <laughs> I heard Glorilla. I know what they doing. <laughs> No. Baby girl, I heard reciting Ice Spice lyrics. <laughs> the fuck? Oh my goodness! Yeah, I don't. Did was Google then? I don't know. Yeah, uh uh-uh. uh no, 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 definitely wasn't. It wasn't. It was we had. Like, yeah, it's 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 G's ain't no shit. G's ain't like no shit. He ain't like Chat GPT. That G's ain't like no Chat GPT. Now Chat GPT would have told you about the period, but damn. Yeah. So so after I told my dad, he was like. Oh no, this is a good thing. You're growing up. You still daddy's girl. Like I think he knew how I felt. So he comforted me and I was good after that. But wow. yeah. Yeah. That's how my mom my mom that. never told me to wait for marriage. She was like, What the fuck? No. <laughs> yeah, not, not, not I mean a, just yeah. Not so, my, yeah. My not mom time. she 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 you, raw with it. One man. time we came back Man. from church. We came back from church. We had that like little virgin card that you signed. Remember a church in the now and stuff mm-hmm. and my mama was like, what kind of shit is this? You need to throw that shit away. And I said, I was so confused. We was just talking about this not too long ago. And I said, Mom, you don't you don't think I should stay, you know, stay a virgin till I get married? She's like, Don't you want to go to college? Don't you want to be a businesswoman? What you gonna hold out that long? And then I was so fucking confused. I like, damn, she got a good point. <laughs> your mom, your mom is pretty raw though, so I can see that. That's, yeah, but my mom Madea, like Medea before Medea. Yeah, bro. oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I'm she, saying, I'm saying. Yeah, Church, she was like going, protect, just protect yourself. Toting. Always protect yourself. Don't get knocked up, but enjoy your life. Did mm-hmm. he provide you with condoms to protect yourself? No, I actually came to my parents before I had sex to let them know I want I was ready to have sex and then I was on birth control. And my dad took me <laughs> you know she grew up on Disney. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I hope I, I just really hope baby girl couldn't No, be right. I trust I trust that way I can go parents. to that little boy and fuck him up. Like. <laughs> I can't even he do it. Be like, he can be like, I, I thought we should wait. That's beautiful, that's beautiful, like, yeah. yeah. I mean, I had that relationship that's with great. both my parents. That's so great. Not that's me. <laughs> I tried I tried the same thing because she told me it worked for her. <laughs> <laughs> no, that I, time we I got that I think, oil. I think I'm ready now. <laughs> no. <laughs> that oil got through on my head. <laughs> we had a press <laughs> circle. <laughs> They took me down. They took me down to the altar. Oh, shit. Wait, did this really happen? No. <laughs> no. No. Shit. I, just, I just really hope I had that response. Like, you know, I just, you know, I'm just really trying to prepare myself. And I don't want, you know, her mom keep telling me to prepare myself. My old lady keeps telling me. My mom keeps, all the women in my life are like, Keith, I know how you are. So when it happens, it's life. like the period it's of natural. sex. Well, Both, all to me, it. it's synonymous. You know what uh, I'm saying? Okay. Like it, it mixes in. Because it, it, in my head, because I, because when I grew up, as soon as the girls start getting their periods, that's when they start acting grown. Like that's why I said, did you feel more responsible? Because uh, like you, well, knew, you start developing, right? Well, it was all yeah. of it. Like the girls would start their periods, and then they would start carrying purses, you start dress, start yeah, start dressing a little different, mm. and then it's like. They were kind of t- like, I don't know if you had the same experience when you were little, but like the girls would approach the boys a lot of the times when you're younger. Like, it's not until you get to high school. Now, nah, ugly. <laughs> I hope so. I'm <laughs> 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 ugly. And then they just seem to know more than us. Like, he was not ugly. I was not like getting approached, though. <laughs> But like you know, they just seem to know more. Like they were carrying around little tampons and stuff. And like oh, we on our periods, and we were like, "What is that?" Like we didn't even. Mm. Well, I, we do mature a lot. As soon as you get your menstrual, you start developing. You do have to watch how you carry yourself. You start caring about how you look. You know, you may want to. I don't know, like wear lip gloss. Like thirteen. Damn. I mean, you know, I she didn't wear. Ma- I didn't wear. Too. She said she had, it was on her birthday list. Lip gloss and makeup. Damn. 
See, I, I said, but no. it can be innocent though. Said, it it, no. it doesn't mean it doesn't mean she just cares about how she looks. She's getting older. She's developing. She's maturing. But it nah, doesn't. She, she can look busted. You stay. I want you to be that busted looking girl until you glow up and like after college. Like damn, that, that's what she was. Dang, I missed out. <laughs> I mean, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh my god! We yeah. left her alone. After all you, those years. I be posting on IG and niggas be like, "Damn, I ain't know." No, how you, you doing, Sean? See, you a dad. You just gotta talk to her and be real. I'm oh, yeah. so glad oh, yeah. I'm she, never gonna have to go through that. She, she done said it on a, on a couple of podcasts, so she be see how real and raw it is. So yeah. yeah, the thing is though, I mean, like, it's kind of good to not want to have your child wearing makeup so young. Great, right? how old's your daughter? She just turned twelve. Yeah, like she don't need makeup. Lip gloss, okay. But makeup, you know? I don't like lip gloss either, but I don't like grown women with a lip gloss. I was either. wearing lip gloss at 13. Yeah, yeah. lip gloss is a little... But you were going to hell. <laughs> it's, it's and your mom didn't make you sign no virgin card, so I don't... But you know what? I was always that, I was always that kid that, like, in a weird way, knew what I wanted to do. She knew, like, I wanted to go to college. I wanted to be a businesswoman. Like, so she was telling me, don't be like these women, no offense women, but don't be like these women where you just looking for somebody to marry and have kids by. Now, I, I that, will, that's, I will that's say. That's not what defined me. I will say, you know, for Tiffany to have the liberated mother that she had, Tiffany wasn't no teen mother. You know what I'm saying? Tiffany wasn't caught up on no bullshit. That was what I was about to say. Like, like I noticed she you get, And yeah. Tiffany didn't really like leave home like that. I wasn't wild. She got they went to UGA, would come at home every right, like I know that right. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like she working. <laughs> working. Like, yeah. So she went jump right in her career. So it's like I see kids that get exposed to opportunity. Like they not that's it. It's like you grew up with a gun line versus the chain. Like you can run up there you want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you but, know so. but I was I mean Sex, drugs, all of that stuff, we would talk to. Like, this mm -hmm. is a real world. You going out there to college, people doing drugs, doing I'm not touching that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I'm not curious. I was I was exposed. Yeah, they, and we seen drugs in truth. our family too. Yeah. Like well, our Damn, family. Yeah. That's in our why family, I, we seen drugs. So I don't smoke either. Yeah. So you know? mm. if you see it on a level we seen it, you just you only want to play with it. That part. Yeah. And then you see people getting pregnant. Then you see how they body change and they got these badass kids running around. That shit alone. See, I now, made sure I was at the doctor's office. I ain't going to lie. I, I, I wish. came ready to park. And everybody <laughs> talking about that, uh, that bought up uh, homework on their stomach. But we were, <laughs> hey, look. I, I ain't going to lie. I didn't. I didn't. Um, do no like I wasn't never no drinker, wasn't never no smoker. She'll she'll tell you. Yeah. But I was fucking though. Like <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Ain't gonna lie. Ain't gonna lie. <laughs> nah, man. <it's>, that shit. <laughs> but that's I, I think that's part of like being raised, especially you like when you young <laughs> country, you be in the south, like man, you be what? young, like it was like eighth grade. Now nah, I blame AOL for me. <laughs> yeah. AOL. Yeah, I blame AOL because I remember I was typing. And I was and I accidentally like fell on this <laughs> keyboard and it was like Asian porn. <laughs> 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 and then I just went down a rabbit hole. <laughs> nah, what it was for me, Ooh, it was coming you down. You couldn't was... type any of the vowels without a genre of porn coming up <laughs> in, my, in my family <laughs> computer. <laughs> nah, dig through you the crates. Dig through you the crates. You put A. Look, all the time. No, no, dig through the crates. This hey, family look. done caught this nigga. Hey, dig look, through you, the crates. Oh, I already know. You put A up, and you pull up amateur. <laughs> <laughs> you pull up E, you gonna say Ebony. <laughs> hey, did you, did you ever tell that story? Did you ever tell that story? <laughs> Oh, shit, you gotta tell me now. Oh, you ever tell that story when you was like, everybody go, you want to put it on the big TV? <laughs> <laughs> Hell nah. So, you, so everybody left the house, you put a porn on the big TV. Every nigga, every, every, anybody who watched porn when they were little, had, or when they were younger, had that family like, oh, everybody gone? Right. I got the big TV to I can, myself? I can, I can tell the it's story. It's going down. I'm I can, crying. It's man. going down. Hey, I'm crying. I can, I can tell the story simply here. <laughs> Uh, please don't judge me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, no hold on, no hold on. Judgment. This is a different story. This ain't the magazine story. No, today. this is no. the magazine. Oh, oh. Are you talking about the magazine story? What at my house? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, I done said, 
I don't got a problem. <laughs> so look, on the podcast, I talk about that cousin who t- showed me her daddy porn, uh, porn magazine. Right. It was oh, this cousin. I always thought it was so, your boy cousin. So let me, no, it's me. So let me, this is what's so funny. Jeez. Right? <laughs> Look, she was showing me out of like it was. She thought it was funny. I yeah. was like, ew. Yeah. <laughs> and then look, and look, look, then the I was like, then I was like, man, I gotta use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch, that bitch, done showed me the gold. <laughs> Sitting on the gold he mine. Said, <laughs> no, but it's just, it's just. I don't. I family. It was just so funny because I remember mom was cleaning right, and she like was cleaning. You know how mama clean, yeah. mama. She Swipe the baseboards. Yeah, shout out. You know what I'm saying? And uh, <laughs> we were all in the room, and then I guess it was a magazine that was under the bed, and she mm-hmm. swept that, and dad is like, mm, they got my good books. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody started laughing, you know? So sexuality was like, in our house, we talked about Yeah, nothing but girls, I, right? All girls? Yeah, we and didn't I got, talk about I got it. Can I, can I tell you something? No magazine, yeah. when, you, when you show me the magazine, it was stacked up this high. Yeah, because my brother to, added to, to, this, to, to him too. To this day, if you go to my Uncle Clyde house, that magazine found this high, and it's because of me. <laughs> <laughs> I know he was looking for some of them good hey, ones look, too. I was like, going he probably has some that he look, remembers bro, that he's bro, missing. Let me just tell you how far the hustle has went. I was at school. I sold one of them yeah. magazines for twenty five dollars. Bro, you should go. That, <laughs> nigga. Yes, bro. what? Bro. You can charge niggas. Price. You can charge niggas a dollar just to look. Just to you, look. You, you, can, you can rent that shit out. Oh my gosh, I meet, didn't know that. Meet me at the locker Dang. after. Let me show you a little preview. After this, meet me at the locker. Dollars. Everybody <laughs> get their dollars. Hell oh yeah. My so God. look, man, I'm talking you, about. You were missing out. I yeah, used, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, she cut me out. in on the deal. <laughs> look, we could have made a lot of money. She, she was showing, uh, what's so funny? She was so innocent. Now, nah, because you don't show the look, girls, and once you look, show the girls, that's when the jig is up. Look, once the girls find out it's a dirty magazine, <laughs> oh yes, oh man, what? It's look, a wrap. El just got a dirty <laughs> magazine. Look, what's so funny, man? I wouldn't like, snitch. Tiffany showed it. <laughs> Tiffany showed it to me in such innocence. She was like, "You want to see something funny?" She was like, "Look at these, girl, girl. And I was like, "Yeah, you." Girls used to always think porn was funny, bro. Middle school girls used to always think porn was funny. Like, look at them, look at titties, bro. Like, it's not funny. Like, I was hey, enjoying look. it. You, you gotta leave. Hey, like, look, I remember I, I kept going back to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga here reminiscing, boy. I don't even remember that. That's how I knew. Like, I maybe I oh. thought his stomach was messed up. You oh know, my like. god! You, you <laughs> see how periods let us. No, but I thought I was, I was just thinking, like, you see how menstrual cycle led us to sexual conversation, right? Right. It's so mm-hmm. but I just but it is. I, I it thought is. you yeah. never told the story. Okay, everybody know menstrual don't stop nothing. Oh man! Yeah. Well, yeah. what? This a whole nother conversation. Now. Real, it's real, actually, real, it's real actually real actually life. good for you though. What? Like as a woman, like I ain't scared of no war paint. <laughs> <laughs> you, said, you said what's good? Having sex during oh the, during the yeah. menstrual cycle. Yeah. Mm, mm. So that a, is that like a, is that like a cultural taboo? Like like is that. Is that like a thing that like some people do, like in the yeah, country? Yeah, some yeah. some people do it, some people don't. Yeah, I don't think it's cultural. I just think it's free creole. Yeah, it's personal. <laughs> what did he just say? <laughs> free creole. Oh he, made up, he didn't made up a word. <laughs> what? Yeah. So why why did you bring up peers though? Did you feel like men? Yeah, you really could have like, talked about anything shy, in the world. Because it's women. March, you know. Oh, you think like a, we shy away from periods? Or? We don't shy away from nothing here. Next topic. I, th- I think it's more so that there's a misconception in it. A conversation that's not had like in terms of like even like the work environment like okay, we'll sometimes it. i just feel like women don't need to like be forced to work i feel like we need to have like menstrual days off oh like hell we, no we need, we need something like that like <laughs> let me let me not have to come into the office and work from home I so y'all don't have an attitude because you don't know someone could be having an attitude with you and it's not because of anything you particularly did at that time it's just like hormonal Listen, I'll 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 give you a menstrual day if I could get a headache day. They have sick days. They have sick days. Boom. That's exactly what I'm saying. But Use separate. your sick days. No, no. no. <laughs> so <laughs> every why, month. Yeah, every it's like because every month it's like you I have to have headache. this. Yeah, well, because I, the woman in my life got a menstrual. <laughs> 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 so, so just, yeah. Right when you take yours, because what happened was it it's, it's like it's like it's like maternity days. 
Like men deserve them just as much as we women. Need, we need New protection. Well, we what, we need protection. Yeah. what I'm just saying, we had to fight for that, right? Definitely. Yeah, we and, we get, and in Georgia, menstrual and in Georgia, it's not the same. In Georgia, well, you know what? My company, we we have parental uh, leave. We call it parental. Yeah, leave. yeah, like, yeah that's the progressive it, way to call it now. Yeah. 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 So I mean, men, is it and is it the same for uh, yeah. men and women? Yes, they get six mm. weeks off. Paid. That's, that's Hell no, nah, that's not enough. Yeah, you're supposed to get like eight, ten. It's, yeah. That's what mothers don't get. It, it should be more than six weeks, but some jobs only let You have women to get, get short term disability for a woman. Nah, see, nah, mother. hell no. Nah. Okay, so listen, listen. And, and, and listen, this is a very big pet peeve of mine, right? Mm-hmm. This mm-hmm. this maternity leave shit, right? Like, mm-hmm. Because <laughs> Because no, you've been through it. No, 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 no. Well, I've been through it a couple of times, but what I'm saying Three is, peaks. Is, is, yeah, shout out. But what I'm saying is, it's like a gaslighting thing for black women, right? Like, at this point, it's not just black women for this, but like all women, but then specifically black women, right? Because y'all right. almost died during childbirth, right? Mm-hmm. So that's the first one. Then you only get six weeks to recover and then go back to work. Right. And if not, you have to use your short-term disability. And if you don't have it set up the right way, it might be non-paid. Mm-hmm. So, you just, so you won't lose your job, but you also won't get paid. So you mean like FMLA? So family medical leave is unpaid. That, they use that too. <laughs> but That's, I mean, it, and, and it depends saying, on your company. But, but what I'm saying and the policies. Is, but what I'm saying is, with all this black girl magic and all these black women in high positions and all this, uh, uh, uplifting, uplifting. Why we can't get shit really changed in the books? Why is nobody right. really like, like that's the shit like you need to be focused on? Like you said on. that about the menstrual days. I don't, I don't know about that, but the <laughs> maternity leave six weeks. You need about eight. You need a good two months. You had a bond with yeah. your baby. You need, exactly. you need you to produce some milk for your baby. Well, so like, that's what I'm saying. Well, that's what I'm saying. Different <clears throat> companies you work for. The company I work for. You know, it shouldn't be based, it should be federal. It well, should be a federal. Well, I, it shouldn't be yeah. a, a company. Because even with companies, the only reason why you have sick leave is because federally they have to give you that. But right. what I'm saying is they didn't mandate this thing. And we have all these, like all this gaslight, all this. Oh, we got y'all black women save the democracy. Y'all voted for this person, and that's who won. Okay, can we stay alive after we get a child? Right, can we stay yeah. home I, I agree babies? with that. We, right, like, Europe but, has it different, and it's okay, like what do they do? I don't know, but it's like months. It's like a longer period of time. Yeah, like, I don't want to give the wrong time. I don't, I don't know if you can look it up, but yeah. Europe Call your has husband. it better. <laughs> Is your husband European? Yeah. <laughs> 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 what's what's your husband guy? say about it? No, I mean, <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> What he's a clown. Um, England. So okay. he's a dual citizen. He grew up in Pittsburgh, though. Top but... of the morning. <laughs> Top of the morning. <laughs> and like a cup of tea. He's a cup of tea. Cup of tea. <laughs> what? Not um, um, yeah. on, She's um, engaged. Um, We're ready. Mater- maternity leave in Europe is available for mothers. Six months. Minimum leave to care for a newborn in Europe is one year, with mm. maternity pay for up to 40 weeks of that year. That's only 12 weeks of no paycheck that year with your kid. Yeah, they can do that in Europe. We definitely could do that in America. Right. So, like, Kamala, come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said, Kamala, anybody, you know. Pelosi, anybody that's taking picture with me at the stallion ain't doing no good work. Mm, damn. Oh, my God. Damn. damn. I'm sorry. She did. <laughs> What's what's up with Meg Thee What's wrong with taking pictures with Meg? <laughs> Meg Thee Stallion is a representation of playing. Ain't serious, and she's a representation of single women keeping women single. What isn't Boom. she with like single women like keeping that? women single? How explain S- that? Single women keep women single. Just think about it. Just think about that. Just uh, just sit in it. It's the same thing with single men keep men single. No, no, actually, it's the opposite. It's single men, men make men stay in relationships. <laughs> exactly, married men. <laughs> Might no, because you know they they hassle you. Oh, you getting married? Oh, don't do no, it. That's and definitely all that's definitely a urban myth. One one is an urban well, one myth. Two How does and two is a, keep single women single because hmm. n- nobody, not one of my girlfriends when we were all single. I'm serious. So First what caliber me, of women? Let me, let me what caliber? Let me call what, cap. What okay? What caliber uh, of women? First of all, your friends like about? your friend like fifty. No, all your friends grown. Uh, I'm grown. No, I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm talking about like adult. Like you are like me. You hang around a mature group of people. Yes, but I do have friends that are my age, and we're all mature. I ain't never seen them. Now, now I tell you this: don't call me on relationship advice, and you got a fuck nigga at home. 
because I'm gonna tell you about the situation. But you, but you in but, a relationship? Do you hang with single women? I do. Like often, like that's your that's your friend group, single women. I have different friend groups. You know what I'm saying? Like your your primary one. Um. Yeah. One of them. Yes. No, I'm talking about all of them. You have one single friend, but you go out. Are you going out with a bunch of single? The majority women? of the people you hang with on a regular are they single it's, it's or like relationship? It's like mixed. It's mixed. Some are single. Some are married. It's honestly mixed. Well, my we, gym friends, some are single, some are married. What we're saying is my friends that there, I grew up there with. Are, single. There I'm are, talking about when you go out though, so because it, it can't be mixed. But when you go out, when it's time it, to, they're turn married up, too, and they're single. I'm telling you, and they all come out together. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you, all her friends old as hell. Like, well, no, no but, they're not. They're my age. No, no, no. He but just, but she just answered because I said single women keep women single. You're talking about the relationship people, so they're all out there. But I guarantee you, if you was the only one in a relationship and your majority group was single, you'll be single. No, I wouldn't. What I'm trying to tell you, I, what I, I'm trying to tell you, know, you is there, I have are, a very there strong... are a group of women. Shayo thinking about it. No, I'm I'm like my two closest friends are married and I'm single. So does that mean that I keep, they I'm out, no, gonna, you, I'm not you're outnumbered. Saying, Guys, no, get out no, the... You're outnumbered. <laughs> No, like, but they're no, saying if if most if if all if you a married woman single, and all your friends single, you're going to be single. it's a problem. It's a, it's a problem. How, single. Why? Why is that a problem? I mean, you tell everybody, us why. Everybody goes through a transition. Like so, this is <laughs> so this is like, like you tell me. You tell me why when single women are out when when they're in a relationship, but when they hang around their quote unquote single friends, they go out, they do things that you probably wouldn't do at home. That that is their character. That's who they are. Mm. So okay. if 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 you wilding and you'll cheat or you don't care if I cheat on my man, you're not my real friend. What about like how you might dress? Like when you're with your married friends, your couple friends, you might dress a certain way. When you're with your single friends, no. your ass is out. I think everybody can have their ass out. <laughs> if, if you're married with kids at home, shit, some of them want to party more yeah. when they get away. Very true. Very true. Mm. And it's like, it just also depends on time of day. It's not like, oh, just because we're single, we're going to just dress. <laughs> like, you know, right, if, right. if a girl's going out at night, maybe she's made, wearing something a little less. But during the daytime, mm-hmm. <laughs> single people don't just like. So you, so, you wear, so your relationship status doesn't dictate your clothes it doesn't. and your conservativeness. It doesn't. With your clothes. Nope. No. Mm. I probably dress sexier now that I'm engaged than when I was single, to mm. be honest. And you know I'm telling the truth, man. Don't even look at me like that. No. Now, I mean, you can dress sexy, but I'm saying respectful. I'm talking about respect. Well, I've always... I'm talking about respect. I guess in that Like, in that being scenario, sexy... I'm saying, you ain't never really dressed like that. That's, that's what, I'm what I'm saying. That's yeah. scenario, I guess I'm more conventional. Like, I'm just conservative. Yeah, what well, I say? You ain't never really dressed like that. We talking about that Sierra dress, red carpet dress. Hmm. But I think that's like a whole celebrity level. First off, celebrities be fucking real women up, period. This Real Housewives of Atlanta talk about is talk about fucking it. up females in Atlanta for real. Do you agree, Sean? I agree. Yeah, I agree. They're not, they're unrealistic. What about the Real Housewives of Dubai? I think they have a women. I haven't up. watched that. Yeah, I haven't watched that. Them it girls either. living a life over there. Really? That's the kind of English. Never mind. They- <laughs> <laughs> don't don't I, I do know. it. No, I cut it. I, I'm going to cut that out. I'm gonna cut it out. I was going to say a joke, but I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to cut that out. <laughs> but what I'm saying, I watched Dubai. I used to be against some of that. I used to be like, man, I don't know if I want my daughter. But if it's gonna be like how they doing in Dubai with it, mm. I might, I might be. Here. See, this is my thing. I I gotta have my own money. I can't be the type of woman that sit sit home, have babies, and clean the house. That's not me. So I I, I could be that woman. You can. I yeah. could. I can't as long as I have the freedom to make the money when I. It, like when I want to, mm-hmm. yeah, I can't Sign me it. up. See, that's, Sign me up. Yeah, that's <laughs> where's, where's the paperwork? That's, what I'm yeah. talking about, Shay. that's that Nigerian. <laughs> right there. See, these yeah. American women. Yeah, these American women. I'm telling you, it's some some yeah. women. Yeah. yeah, I like to make money because no, like I that, mean, we can make money. Together. But but see, this so you want ASAP Rocky? That you want? No. Like so my fiance is very successful, just mm-hmm. like I am. Mm-hmm. So Ooh. when the baby comes, somebody got to stay home with that baby. Who's my there? mother, she's gonna be my nanny. And I know that's the true answer. No, no, I know I know your mom. That's the true answer. Yeah. So, but if your mom is not an option, then I hire another nanny. So you, so you're gonna hire a nanny. She's not even gonna breastfeed her kids. She's no, a I CEO. am. And that's, I am gonna breastfeed you know, I think I think a lot. I, of, I, I'm, I'm telling you right now, that's gonna change when the baby comes. Um, no, I bet you I'm, money. But let's bet money on this podcast. He got, he got, he got right three. Now. How much you wanna put on it? I, 
Hold on, what's the bet? Uh, Clarify the bet. The Can bet we put this shit on wax? A hundred dollars right. that when that baby comes, uh-huh. all these career aspirations, and you just hiring this nanny and want, not wanting to be there, all that shit going. Change. Okay, let's bet. Hundred dollars. Hundred. Wait, yeah, so, so wait, what are you saying that she's gonna? Oh yeah, what I'm saying is when the she's six gonna be her ass what, what, at the house. What I'm saying when the she's gonna let that up, white Iceland king serve her <laughs> and take care of the bills. You stupid. But what I'm saying is. In six weeks after the baby's done, uh, after her, her, her maternity leave is done, she's not gonna want to go back to work. She's gonna want to stay home, and she's gonna be like, oh. But I'm gonna come. take my ass back to work. You it don't work you, like that. But are you? No, you no, 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 no. Do you work from I, home? I do work from home. No, oh, there you go. No, I'm saying you're not going to I, it's want like a to. Hybrid. Like this conviction yeah, in your no. voice right now. Like, oh, in six weeks I'm back. Nah, man, man, what's that baby? Don't know me, man. I do know you. I know I've you. I know you. Had hold on, hold on. Don't you have periods? Don't you have periods? You have periods. Then I do know. Because once that baby come, I know. I have not seen a woman yet You're right, that yeah. didn't change. And if it, if they don't change, they're not going to be in that baby life no way. At all, at all. Well, we and, that's not, and that's not your character, so I know you're going to change. Nah. So the thing is, so $100 like, on you, the table. When we look at it, right, the baby is inside of you for nine months. Thank you. Right? Right. And then yeah. it's only six weeks. So the baby really is still attached to you. Right. Like, at that six-week mark. And did right. you eat so some placenta? Like Are you going to eat the placenta or not? Nah? I thought about it. You ain't going nowhere. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, you eat placenta like, too. Like, it's come an on. Attachment. You know, like my girl came. Into I know it's an attachment, but it depends how you eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I blend that shit up. Put some fruit in it. <laughs> put some but, fruit in it. No, but <laughs> I'm wrong. Ew, man. <laughs> no, I just say so you eating placenta. Like, you know what? I love motherhood. I'm gonna breastfeed. I want to have a natural birth. I want to do everything the traditional way. Yeah, but I just. You want your autonomy. Yeah, I love it. And I understand that. I feel like we can still have our autonomy. You know, that's how I feel. I, I don't like that society make us choose. No, we can have both. Exactly. I think we can have both. Um, Come and on, I feel Keith. Like, bring your black ass back in here. <laughs> I feel like we can have both. And I feel like our society allows us to have both. It's just our choice. But I feel like what's happening is we're feeling like we need to be in the patriarch. Like, we feel like we need to be, like, capitalistic we need to make the money and we want to like match masculine and it's like as opposed to just allowing us to be natural to our feminine desire mm. so it's like if so you want to work and you want to do that then do it you know yeah. what i mean give her a couple of dings <laughs> give a couple of dings but if you want to you know if you want to work yeah. it's your if that's your natural desire that's, it's then in it's, me then you I do can't, it i can't i can't no, you know what's work. in you that baby that baby exactly yeah, that baby you know baby cuz nah David is just as hard working as I am, and we're partners in this in this life. Everything we doing, we doing together for our uh, kids, our household, our future kids, and that's why I've waited. All I'm saying before to I want to have a child. We can't speak in absolutes. That part. This because did is we? What, did, wait, will we come, come on, listen, come on. Like, let, let go let, back let, to our childhood. All right, listen. Did so, you ever see you being with a David? Mm. Yes. Come on, Tim. Yes. Nah. Yes. No. That's so why me, it was such so a shock. Ta- let me tell That's you why this. That's why it was such let a shock to us. Right? Come on. Let me now. tell you this. I know you. Okay. So I'm my believer because she did watch a lot of Cinderella, Snow White, nah, but- and Beauty and the oh, Beast. No. You know what I'm saying? Look. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but listen, listen, listen. For real. When when I met David. When do you knew? You, when, all right. What, before you go, you what this. age you knew you could be with a David? Because you gonna let me know. I I mean I was. In school, like you always saw a white boy that was fine or cute. Nah, hell no. We ain't talking about that. We talking about when did you know you're gonna go again and marry him, bring bring him to the family? Because we see a lot of know you could marry a white boy. Not date a white boy. We know you could marry a white boy. Let me let me tell you why. Because I didn't go after David because he was white. I know that boy, right? I look for something real, somebody with the same personality. Oh my god! (laughs) So I. He can't help himself. I I was looking for someone that complimented my life, someone that was a partner, someone that had the same values and morals as me. I wasn't looking for race. So how I met David was off eHarmony, right? Mm. So I chose. See, I told you her friend was old. Yeah. What young motherfucker <laughs> on eHarmony? 
That you, no, you right. I told you right. Jesse. Every, every old person I knew that I worked with, you know they what? find their husband on eHarmony. Come on, and, bro. You must work Do with you, but you know people. why I would, no, who I work with, no, like, I'm saying, no, 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 I'm saying you had to be around older people to get on eHarmony. Like <laughs> no, I just knew I needed to go on a dating app where you have to pay for it. Because oh, free, well, right. free apps is a whole bunch of people and you're that's right. playing. You're right. You know who told me that? Who? The old lady I used to work with. But she <laughs> no, but you no 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 so, no, no. But, you dead ass you dead ass so though. She did she did say my friend sister in her twenties she was on eHarmony yeah and I was okay. in my twenties but, so yeah. but who did they get that advice from? Huh. Let me tell you, anytime you gotta sow time and money yes, into something, yes. you, you gonna be for you real correct. about it. You yeah, correct. she married the guy from eHarmony too. See so. no, no, that shit no, is you, legit. You know you right. Every person that why I buy pussy. <laughs> you know it's serious. <laughs> you know? look, 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 every 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 person I know, like when oh they were talking about dating God. and stuff, they they said I went to eHarmony because that's the site that you had to pay for. And I think and it's like tears or something. Oh my you, God. It's it, it takes so long to set up your profile. So because niggas like, is broke. Was, and that's why I never was on eHarmony <laughs> or plenty of fish. Do you see what I'm saying? So <laughs> Cause I niggas was, is broke. I so was they couldn't save, get that high tier. So no. David just outpaced them niggas. Okay. Listen, I would save where I was at and then go back. And I took it serious because I was like, mm. I am tired of this shit. Right? But how I many would, white men did you date before? He was my first white guy. take notes. He's my first. That shit ain't fair. He's my that shit ain't guy. fair. <laughs> Why? I ain't gonna lie, man. I feel like I feel like listen. I feel like her saying that to me. I might join. Look, her her saying that to me made me feel like I'm a black business owner, and I messed up one time. You like I'm never shopping black business again. <laughs> no, you know, went to Walmart. No, that's not what happened. That's not <laughs> no, what happened. No, no, no. I'm saying that's how I feel when you just make that statement. My like, first because how, you, because how you describing it? How you describing it? It is. It it it. it, it, it it hits me a little deeper because it's like I understand what you're talking about. You, you're, you're in your twenties. You're a young black woman in your twenties. I was a young black man in my twenties. I could not afford e harmony, so there's been no way mm. I would have met somebody who I qualified. So when you meet a David, it's like all of it's White like baked privilege. In yeah, I mean, that's that's one of the <laughs> damn. I didn't think about it like that. <laughs> but hold on, JB, JB, come to me. Like JB, But you know me. what? To be hold on, fair, hold on. I'm JB, first... come to me real fast. Come <laughs> to my camera. <laughs> Go to my camera. Hey, <laughs> David, I love you. You my new cousin. We potting. Keep going. So, <laughs> oh no, I wasn't potting about that. That's white privilege. Like, that's actually a definition of no, white no, privilege. No, no, but I know no, where I'm about to go. I'm, oh, okay. I'm, I'm, <laughs> 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 this podcast is good. David back there like hell yeah. You know what? To be fair, I am the first black woman David ever dated too. I believe that. Yeah, I believe that. <laughs> you just you the only black woman that paid. Wait, so how did that happen? So how did you match? Like, so we were ninety nine percent match. I put everything. I went on that bitch. Wait, no, 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 you no. You must say everything but black. <laughs> <laughs> I set myself no, up for that. No, no, I set myself hey, up for that. She put. She put. <laughs> she said, "I got Cherokee in my blood." <laughs> No, look, hey, y'all, hey, y'all, look. y'all low key do though. I see them off. I was like, it's a Cherokee. Man, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> so, I can't stand you, friends. <laughs> No, but you know when they put up pictures of the Native Americans and a black person right next to it. We definitely look. We vibed like it's it's. We still finding ways how we got a lot of stuff in common, right? Like even what we went to college for. Like he minored in what my major was. Like it's just like we're entangled. What's your it major? Psychology, mm. but I focused and did all my research in industrial organizational psychology, and mm. that's what he got his minor in. Right. Oh, she like George Washington Carver. So breaking down the plant. Yeah. So I'm into cars. You know that. I've yeah. always been That's into said, American plant. muscle, right? Yeah. He's into cars. Like, so for him to find a girl hmm. that my Camaro, you know, he showed me his sports car and I showed him my Camaro. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you, you like the way that sounds. Yeah, you gotta put you gas in his car too, right? You put gas in yours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you wash your car. He wash his. Oh, shit. Just match so, it up. Both, so, y'all, both y'all can trace roots back to plantation. Uh, oh, damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> hey, see, just. Yo, where do you come up with these things from? He's a dick. He can't help it. I'm, I'm, trying to keep, I'm trying to keep the jokes high, bro. You know? Oh First of all, y'all but, are the worst but, comedy crowd no. ever. <laughs> oh, man. It's like, 
It's her no, love. But, it's her love. Okay, I, I so, already gave a disclaimer. So we let fine. Me, so let me say this. So, you know, I am a strong woman, right? Yeah. Every night, I cook my man a dinner and I serve him his plate. You better. <laughs> Somebody, you better. I'm sorry. You, you said so. <laughs> How about you better? No, but but I am soft in my household wow. and with my man. I respect my man. So you really think you going back home after you had this baby? You are cooking every <laughs> night. You are soft at home. When that baby comes out of you, I'm telling you, I want my hundred dollars. Matter of fact, you just put it on the baby bus. That's when you mind. I'm gonna come to the baby shower. I'm gonna have an IOU, and in six weeks, I'm gonna be like, David, she don't want to go back to work. Just hand this to. <laughs> but she's okay. hybrid. Okay. She's hybrid though. So. Yeah, I work two days out of the week from home. She's not gonna and open I that laptop. Oh, you think I'm, she's not gonna? I work know out. so. I'm gonna have a baby on my titty because- typing. So I'll say one of my okay, friends, yeah, when you she def- had her first Hold baby, on, I'm sorry. She definitely been a little ambitious right there. No, what? She said, I'm going to have a baby on my titty while I'm typing. Y'all, you're, y'all, you're being y'all super ambitious. Not, I have friends like that. I, you, already, you should know how ambitious I am, man. No, no, I, and they, you, and they did that, but not after them first. It, the first baby, she like she just, want, I, what happened, I think it's almost like really wanting to keep like herself. And she might watch this, but she, you know, enrolled in school like she started working like just like started doing a lot of things and because her, her husband her husband let her do back. what she wanted to do yeah. and then it became too much i don't know why it's she got overwhelmed pause pause pause, pause. Oh. Got, pause did you just hear what she <laughs> but, but, i'm gonna let you do all this shit to overwhelm yourself it was, i'm not gonna, look, I'm look, not gonna look, get her right before she said right before she said that you know what just irked my ears when i hear when she said her husband let her do what you want to Yeah, because he asked. What, what you mean? He asked. He what, asked. You, what you mean? Oh, that? Child started, <laughs> like, he asked. Let, he, just, her husband just, let her do that. Yeah, that just, I mean, I agree. Me yeah, having, let, let, let me having children is going to put that drive in overdrive. I'm going to want to go even harder. But no, no, now, no, after I'm, the second child, she's chilled a little more. Like, this no, one, she's letting herself, like, just it, enjoy oh, it. Her and go through more. Shy, she got her job, like, six months later, but... Shia, let me tell you, I'm talking about the first baby. I know if that second baby, she's staying home. That second baby is a wrap. Yeah, crazy. That, that like I'm not I can't bet on I can't bet on the second you baby. See him you know why? Pie, man. You know why? Like, because you need to tell and, the and truth. That first baby, she's gonna want to stay. And if she don't stay, <laughs> nah, Keith, she's gonna regret it. Keith, 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 overwhelmed. Keith, Keith, and the second Keith, time I'm Keith, staying. Let me put I know. let me put let me put some co- I I will say this, Keith. You gotta add the contest to Tiffany. Twins running our family, and we're due for a set. Oh damn! Why, I, why, I don't why, know man, why, why man put that on. I don't you? know why everybody is putting that on me. Like no lie, it's on man. Everybody, it's on wax. Because we do, we do no. for a set. We do for a set. I don't. I don't. He said we twins. do for a set. Nah, I mean, y'all just had a bunch of babies come through, and they've been a bunch of single babies. So it runs heavy on. And on and, my and my y'all have side. the y'all have the uh, wealth to support <laughs> twins as well over mm-hmm. there. If I have twins, y'all motherfuckers need to come check on me. Wellness Jack. <laughs> oh, for sure. Because I want my matter of fact, if you had twins, <laughs> two hundred. I I didn't want to say two hundred. Oh my Cause god. Because I don't want you backing that like, oh, I can't. It's too keep. It's too. I can't do it with nah. You said no matter what. Hey, tell me some of the uh, hardest conversations you had with your fiance before y'all made a decision to marry each other. Because y'all got into a marriage. I feel like engage in an interracial relationship right. during the height of consciousness in this country mm-hmm. in the height of like division of white and black people <laughs> hell no you met this man during george floyd times i did uh, oh my god 19 <laughs> oh 2019 so, so i want to know the conversation he, like, he lived <laughs> this is a funny joke i mean we we talked about it but he lived in the city when they was rioting and stuff and i told him to stay at my place that night because it was a lot of stuff going out. She protected her king. And he was like, you I know, know this ain't no setup. <laughs> so so I was like, you know, just stay here until things settle oh, down. How long have how long did y'all know each other at this point when you asked him to protect? Oh, we started dating in the summer of nineteen. So when did I buy my duplex? I think you heard that flick. Like you heard that flick. Like you heard that. Come on, quit playing with my cousin, nigga. I'm like that, Give her a motherfucking gun, nigga. <laughs> no, no, it was it was either the end of nineteen, the beginning of twenty twenty. <laughs> so not not that long. Like, like five months. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. No time, no but time. I mean, our first date, we talked to like three o'clock in the morning. Where did he take you? Papados. 
Yeah, they don't care. We always talk Hell on the first day. Hell no. Nah. No, but I, Hell nah. I. You know how many women come on this podcast talking about Papa Do's ain't no real date and all this stuff, like, man? Let, uh, me, this, let uh, me tell you this. This nigga getting white privilege. All, all no, 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 no. <laughs> Some of the women y'all be fucking with is on a whole. Like, they, they fucked up. Now I'm I would say Tim, Tim pretty down to earth. Yeah, I don't I, give. I don't her, care her last dude that. before him was a farmer. So. He really was. I mean, it's hard yeah. for me to joke too much. I do know your mom. Your mom speaks so highly of you. Man, I think she called you one time too. She asked you a question. Well, I can't remember what it was. It was like the middle of the night. And she said, I'm, I'm gonna come with that now. I'm gonna ask her. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but like, like her like, last, her I, last dude was a farmer. Like legit. I just farmer. want you to work. You don't have to and make. You don't working. have to. Yeah, well, you know what I'm just yeah. saying, like I'm just you saying, like Papa Do's was cool because she yeah. cool. Like, no, she ain't tripping. Like Sayo, is Papa Do's cool with you? Yeah, yeah I mean okay. that's cool. All right, y'all hear that on wax now, so fellas. I'm not one. Of, I'm not Do's? one of these women okay. that say you got to make six figures to date me. I'm not one of those women. Is there a dollar amount you would require? How much e harmony costs? <laughs> 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 I'm just sorry. Hey, Cause that nigga wasn't making he wasn't making the average medium income. <laughs> have you Mo Cause I don't have no extra twenty five a month. <laughs> and then I gotta spend more after I meet you and hey, look, connect. I, look, I gotta pay more to put a deal. So y'all want y'all wanna hear some shit? So I first date, I you know my cousin Kendon. Mm-hmm. I paid for Kendon meal and drink to sit at the bar because this is my first time dating somebody from online. Yeah, he white too. I get it. So I pay my cousin Kenny. He's a Marine, you know. Simplify. Shout out to Kenny Shout Kelly. Um, but I I paid for him, you know, <laughs> sit at the bar and he stayed. He was like, "You feel safe?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And then we kept talking all that night, right? So, um, he said, "There's a car show the next day. I want you to go." I didn't know that shit was caffeine and octane and shit. Like six o'clock in the morning, I went home, slept for three hours, got back up, met him at a car show. That's fun, right? Oh yeah, y'all was in there. T- yeah, he he love bombed you. That's so that's that love bombing. So so we went to the car show and then we spontaneous then dates. we then we ate <laughs> then we ate brunch. I paid for brunch. Then we went to the movie. Oh, you paid, paid for it? I paid for brunch. You hit him with, like what he tried like what was his response when you did that? Nothing. It it was natural. Okay. Listen, we don't discuss who paid for what and we don't even talk about money. I feel like women that look for somebody six figures and always talk about money, they broke or lazy. You knew his credit? Not then. There. No, okay. you know it now, though. Yeah, he know mine. We talk mm-hmm. about everything. That's why I make sure you at least talk about. It. Yeah, we talk about everything. Debt? Do you have any college debt? Neither one of us did. We had scholarships. What? What? Who was that lady from Albany? What was her name? Remember, we, we were in Black Man Lab. We went down there. It was mm-hmm. a husband wife couple. Oh and yeah. She told us the formula. Augusta. Augusta. That, yeah, it was yeah, Augusta. Augusta. Albany. And she told us the formula to what you need to look for. In a woman. Mm-hmm. And I feel like you guys are settling for these bitches. Oh, man. Flex on But it go flex, both flex ways. Flex on a hoe one time. Don't settle. Thanks. Don't settle. What's what's your definition of settling? A woman that don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? And you know what? I can't. I'm laughing at man. But if that's what he really want, he'll find somebody that's okay with that shit. Mm-hmm. But you find who's okay with what you want. Mm-hmm. You can't force nobody to change. They're not for you. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's, mm. A word. That's a word. That's a word. Mm-hmm. All right, now go, go to the hard conversation y'all had. So when we bought our house, the one we're in now, we faced discrimination, and that was David's first time experiencing it and seeing it. I'm going to fuck them up. <laughs> Hold on, what do you mean discrimination? Like, like it, we're in a nice neighborhood. Mm-hmm. I know about this neighborhood. The police pull her over. No, it's bad because you know the the neighborhoods we was looking at in the houses. At first, I didn't want to be seen with the people that's selling older white people selling the house in this neighborhood, uh-huh. right? So I was like, he didn't believe me. This, you know that it was is that country parts of Georgia. No, it's Gwinnett County. Oh damn! Okay. Yeah, I, I can see that there. Yeah. So, um, so. I was like, I don't want them to see us, especially 
first they see black people, but then if white people see an interracial couple, you putting that black woman in that house. You, you see what I'm saying? I'm not going to have no nigger in these walls that I built. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I real. mean, but for real. real. In so, what part of Gwinnett? Girl, all of Gwinnett. Like, really? Yeah. Huh. Gwinnett? Yeah, hold on. You're surprised because the, the Gwinnett's supposed to be so democratic and so like mixed. And Gwinnett, so Gwinnett, like, Gwinnett, Gwinnett is, I'm born, it's newly I'm black. Born, I'm born she born and raised there. The Kula, Georgia. The Kula. Oh, Still the on farmland in Decula. Oh, yeah, the Kula. Yeah, that's but what I'm saying no, is the Kula, Lawrenceville, Gwinnett, Cross, all of them. Like she was there before this shit got progressively black I was about to say because you know now they try to say Gwinnett County is a blue county she she was there before the Migos start calling it the North yeah yeah before yeah Roscoe who Roscoe Dash went to school to Cula and Mill Creek that area too oh hell no nigga said he was from the A well not Atlanta Atlanta. mm -mm. (laughs) so but we proud to you know be in the suburbs like that's a good so, area good so school. when they saw who discriminated was it the home the neighbor the, the homeowner selling? that was selling so he saw me because they weren't supposed to be at the house i was like damn he just seen me get out or whatever so we bid for this house um we wrote a letter we did everything he could and then he didn't go with our offer we had the highest offer anytime you make an offer that's the highest offer they have to tell you the reason why you they didn't go on your offer we bid like what over twenty thousand over what they what the asking price was at the time. So then he said he never got our offer when we sent it to him, but he responded to the email when our realtor sent him the information. All right. So if you got somebody that got the money mm-hmm. to buy the house and can close on the house anytime and you didn't get the money and you went for someone else yeah, all right he and I, just, I just can't so, do it so david was i can i can honestly say he was more pissed than i was because i'm course. more used to it because he's a white man hold on <laughs> that's that's no this is why i be loving the interracial because when it does happen that white man should kick in like hold on or the white woman no, i think kick in like, no i think I'm he white. was <laughs> what the fuck he realized no, i don't think being he, looked white. At, he looked at it at me like am i okay are you okay mm, yeah like, you know and like he he also realized your white privilege don't come with a plus one. It's mm. a sad thing when you think right. you do that. Mm. But he didn't, I mean, I'm just saying. No, I, I know what you're saying. Yeah. But so then the next house. Now wait till he had that kid. No twin boys. But we but we've talked but we've talked about that. <laughs> twin boys. We've talked about that. You know, you know, your kids, we believe in the drop rule. So one drop of black, you black. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so that's that's what we believe. So he know that he knows that. Yeah, that, was, that was his rule or yours. I, I explained to him. <laughs> I explained to him how it is in the states. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, I explained to him how it is in the states. You know what I mean? Because I'm just laughing. At he would have came to you and said, "You know, uh, if it's one drop." <laughs> The well, only bro. I feel like the only time white people want to state claims on black people is when they're super successful. Then they want to bring up the little percentage of white that you have mm. in you, right? So I'm just we have these conversations well, every. So I'm like, we get married, we have kids. Everybody in the house can say nigga, but you. How you feel about that? Okay. <laughs> he said he's fine. He wouldn't want to use that term. Not until you sound, not until you realize how cool it sound when his boys be saying it. Like nah, nigga. Nah, my nigga. Or, or or when or when the dad do something lame and they look at each other like this nigga here. Oh my god. Uncle E, my nigga, what's up? <laughs> Oh shit! No, but That's we a, we've had these conversations. Y'all probably just shouldn't say it in your house. <laughs> no, <laughs> we all say it. Let me tell you. So my dad, my dad is older. He was forty five when I was born. So dad'd be seventy nine this year in May, right? So he was talking about my brother. And he was like, you know, this, and he looked at David. He stopped just like that. And I was like, Daddy, he used to it. I used it all the time. So why it. everybody be trying to act like I be doing too much? Because man cracks white jokes. Like slavery shit type jokes, like, what, like what? around family members that's not like in, in our. But like, it be family. It don't be David. Don't know none of them people. You be cracking jokes about. It's just, and it's but, every time. But do it just and it's be every him? time he see man. It, like that shit get old. Do, do it just though? be him though, or do I be getting on everybody in the room and he just get some too? No, I. Well, I don't know. 
can't. You gotta tell me a joke, bro. I'm trying to figure out like it don't mean nothing crazy. Or but like uh, that's why I don't do it no more, David. If you notice that, this is my part, so I get to do it. But like in the family stuff, yeah, I don't do it. Oh, like the jokes you did earlier, and everybody was like, oh. Yeah, he tell he tell jokes. So now the like whole that. now the whole and family does that, and it's not like me, man, and David. It's like family that David really do, doesn't even know. So every time David come around, man, got these jokes. Well, I will say though, <laughs> so it gets he got, old. He, he, nah, I don't know, don't get I'm old. trying to get him right. It won't, it won't get old until let me I get t- a check. Let me tell you why now I got cut a check for reparations. Then let me tell you why I got to get I'll him right. I'll stand up for David. David, Els, you need to shut the fuck up if that check come. Hey, look, but if that check let don't me, come. Let me tell you why I got to get him right. Cause David about to have two twin black boys, and he about to be taking them <laughs> to the barber oh shop. Oh my god, David! He, wait, he number gotta, one, a shout out to High Definition Barbershop, Gainesville, Georgia. Black owned. My brother owns it. David goes there and get his haircuts. At that's a your black brother. Owned bar- barbershop. So what, what I'm telling you is, hell, my sister it, married a white man. He better come over here and get a haircut too. What I'm saying Check is, in, with your in that barber shop, <laughs> do you be going in there with him? No. Tell the truth. I don't. Okay, I'm about to say. That's yeah. what's up. That's good. Now, That's huh, good. Th- now your your uh David is he like a uh, what kind of white dude is he? He's like Tommy. Man, he white? like the He's fine white. jaw white boy. He's a white guy, culturally like, white. Like he he white. He oh, like Prince Harry white. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yes. He like, a, he's a ginger too. No. Nah, he ain't ginger. I bet blue eyes though. Blue eyes, Ooh. dirty blonde. Blue eyes, dirty blonde. No, no Dr. Umar I say. <laughs> now, nah, like he, he, a, no, a, no, a, so look, I like David, but I want to David. You got, you got to understand, like it's not funny. Cause how long has he been in America? He grew up here, so like oh. his parents came here. She was actually pregnant with him. He, they were only supposed to be here for like a two year assignment, working his dad, um, and then they never went back. But. I mean, just going to England. That, like, you know, you say you go every year, every other year. That's how David grew up. You went. I used to go. To the I UK haven't went because yes. yeah, my, mom's from, my mom lived there. So like, nice. So here's here's the thing, because me and Tiffany are really close, like like really really close. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're born two weeks. She's two weeks older than me. Hmm. So our whole life we grew up. Like uh, yeah, yeah. Our, our whole life we crack jokes on each other. Our whole life we. But fought. man has to understand. Now she that is he one don't... with him. I'm trying to build that same bond. <laughs> like nigga, you my cousin Tiffany, huh? Like bro, you gotta get it. <laughs> my cousin Tiffany, listen, I, like if I got, come on now, with any woman I'm with. So do you explain? To but him I don't. Culturally? I don't talk about man, girlfriend. Have I ever? That's ever the cracked pro- jokes? That's the problem. They gotta get broken. No. So no, close, I respect have you explained them. it to your your fiance that it's like that's who he, he don't is. like me because but I'm he, it's not that he don't like me. He don't like what I do. He don't like exactly. what I do. Man makes him uncomfortable. He does it on purpose. He's done this with all my boyfriends and but hold on, see, but see, hold on, see, because like <laughs> look. At Wait, first, let me tell you what man did. My first serious boyfriend in high school, right? All right. So I don't even remember the story. So let go. <laughs> when we had our 16th our sweet 16th uh, birthday party and you had a twerk competition and Aunt Paulette like called you out that at the house you remember that house party <laughs> I'm, I'm having a twerk competition <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get popping at 16 <laughs> alright so, but what did they got to do with okay, you so the boyfriend at the time I I told man, like, I'm going to bring my boyfriend. All right, you going to bring him? So, man, you know, he was a pretty boy back then, you know. Okay. So, yes, yeah, I'll tell it on you. Not I, like JB? Yeah, he was. Like, this nigga oh, slept, slept with something we, on his head. Yeah. Waves? Greasy ass for him. Oh, uh, uh, get, uh, get, get, uh, get, get your copy of, uh, what's, what's the name of the book? The maid book? He's in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that guy, right? So, I tell him, like, he was like, "Where your boyfriend? I'm like, this him next to me. He's like, this nigga? I was like, yeah. He flipped on the lights the whole party, laughed at dude in his face, and then turned the lights back off and walked away. <laughs> First on, time bro. meeting man. And I done told man is like my now, brother. Now, now, now the question, now the question is, is, the question is, what you would have did if your boyfriend got to fighting with Elders? Who you would have helped? Man. There you go. <laughs> Remember, now, that now was the white same, man put me. Who you gonna help? Him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! You just sound like Lupita. 
no. <laughs> Look, let me tell you this. You want some soap? <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you this. Look, let me just say it. I, wait, I, you know, put the camera on. Wait, me. wait, 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 wait. Man, listen, listen. Let me tell you that same that same guy. That same guy. That's when we went to New Orleans. He didn't have the dress code, and y'all left him outside the club and went in the club and left him by himself. So, you so nigga, you don't got the dress code. I done did that to a couple niggas. Yeah, like, like hell, I didn't, didn't know even, anybody. Yeah, we was in New Orleans. And no, and did, but did y'all not? Did everybody no, had a dress code except for this nigga? Knowing me, I told everybody what dress code because I'm that it. logistical type of person. That, that's that what I'm saying. <laughs> no, 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 no. If you go out and only but one I, person. To be to be fair, I don't know the details or whatever. Dude came back mad at me. I was with my female cousins or whatever. And then it the whole trip was crazy because he didn't like how they treated him. But not once did I go against man him. You know but, what but, I mean? Like but I when, was But when it comes to David, now I will say this though. You I, now I'm back on Elder's side. You do got to make him uncomfortable. And let me tell you why, right? Because we are in America and like race is such a touchy taboo. It'll make you uncomfortable. One, two, him being ingratiated with like black people, he's going to see every spectrum of black. I remember when like, if you're not black, if you're, I'm telling you, if you're not black, I remember one time I was talking with my friend. We just, we just loud. Just, what up? Why is he talking loud? And somebody actually thought we were about to get the fight and then called the police. Clearly, it was a white person because they didn't know what was going on. The police was black. He was cool. He knew what was going on. But it's like little things now, like David, that. Uh, David isn't like that. But he's I'm saying, real, if, he's if real Eldridge, chill. But if Eldridge makes you uncomfortable with just but, uh, these types of jokes, oh, so how and uncomfortable I'm would very, you be? Uncle Sean was like, here, David, you can have a seat right here. Man was like, you don't give your seat up to the white man. What's wrong with that joke? That's a problem. Bruh, no, so, that's disrespectful. So, no, so, no, so no, first, no, no, so no, first no, no, of all, it's, it's like it's like it's like this. We was out that Did, picture. You that itching p- right now because you know <laughs> that shit is uncalled for. No, I mean, she, she, she agreed. Speak, speak to a shot. So like, look, so we, yeah, so, we so we, so we at the thing. So we at the thing. We at, it's it's Christmas time. So my uncle like here you can sit right here. Now my uncle are older. My uncle like uncle Sean like sixty in his sixties. Yo, yo, white man, he young. Uncle Sean is a grown ass man. Uh, so, he so what else? Hold on, hold on, pause. But, but, but pause. But your husband? It's at my so, uncle's house. If you came to my house and I was sitting down, mm-hmm. I would offer you something to drink, and I say, "Sit down, Keith. Make yourself at home. You want some snacks? You want this? That?" And, and I would, and, and I would reply, I would, and I would reply to that and saying, "I look. Oh no, no, ladies, sit first. And I would look around because that's the last seat. Ladies, sit first. If you an elder and you offer me the chair, I accept the respect." But no, so you, you got it. I'll but grab that's, my not, the what that's not the play. That's not the play of what's going what on. What I'm that's saying not is, what, what I'm saying doing. is, he did nothing wrong. But what I did, because this is me, period. I'm always going to say something to anybody and everybody, except for him now. So here's the, here's the problem with this. I, I was just about here's, to say here's it. the problem with this. I am adhering to you, your mother's wishes. Right. I love and respect y'all. And my issue is, y'all know I'm playing. Y'all know it's jokes. And y'all know I joke about everything on everybody. So y'all allowing his ignorance of, when I say ignorance, I'm not saying he's ignorant, right. but his ignorance of my personality oh, and who I am as a person. Well, y'all, will, him, no, 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 listen, 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 listen. Y'all allowing his ignorance of his personality to change what y'all normally accept. So cool, I'm changing my behavior, but what this does, it almost prevents me and him from ever having a real conversation. Cause now I'm always going to be censored or I'm always going to be on eggshells out of respect and love for y'all. And it's and, just a precedent. And, but and, my, and, on, and it's just a precedent that damn, when he's around, we ain't going to have a real conversation. Well, now you're not having a real conversation. We will change. We, we will change things to be one no, person's will. We can have real conversations. You need to get to know him more. Y'all don't know each other like that for you to continue making But I know jokes. you. And those but jokes. Like, let me tell you. Yeah, let me tell you. Let me tell you. I mean, we could be transparent. Like, I would never mm-hmm. crack jokes about some of the women you've been with and dated out of respect for you and your relationship with the women you was with. But hold on. But are you, are you, do you normally crack jokes? Yes. Yeah. I crack jokes with me and him, but I never do it in and, public and again, with so, other people around. So also it's we, a respect uh, I'm sorry, thing. I'm sorry, what you had to say? I, I see you, buddy. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm just, you know, I'm listening in, you know, whatever. I just think that it's like almost like a cultural thing. So, for example... 
what I'll say is that I know that like I'm I'm like in the middle culture where it's like I'm I'm Nigerian, but I was raised born in Jersey. You know what I mean? Right. And I think African American culture, like roasting, is a part of the culture. Right. right? Black culture. Right. Black. Black American culture. Right. Oh, okay. I like that. Um, it's, it's like better. roasting is like a part of it. Mm-hmm. Rudeness and blunt bluntness is like a African across the world culture. Yeah, right? right now, as far as like women, we're not like that. We're not naturally the way men roast. We don't roast the same. Like we, you may joke on your cousin, but you wouldn't do it to another woman because that's just a woman. Like women right? don't roast each other. Yes, we, we do we in our family. In, in maybe in your family, but. To a random woman, you'd be like, "Okay, I'm not going to do that because because I don't know her, right?" But but, but men, but we will. But African American men or Black American Black men, like I, they meet each other. I don't and know they if just I grows. agree with that. Hold on, go you know ahead, you agree ahead. with it because when JB was go just trying to take the thing off and he didn't know how to do it, he's like, "No, it don't work like that." And I did it. I let him crazy and you laugh. I don't know JB like that. I just met this nigga. We both joking on each other. He joked on me. Nigga, you yeah, don't know. but you're not gonna like, talk about and cert- crack certain joke. Y'all just looked at each other, whatever. I, mean, yeah. you can't I, tell really, I just I cracked a light skin tell. joke. I t- he light skin. He had me super dark hair. He gotta take the I, he gotta take the standard of what we do. Exactly. What we saying? Multiply that. By the extraness of, of my personality, because so, is extra. And because I know you, other people but, that are different. Uh, but you also have to understand there's a time and a place, and you need to also understand and, your audience. You want to be a comedian? You you all about entertaining? <laughs> know your audience. It, know when something's it, well, now, well, wait, now, but not. can I real quickly? Can I finish? Like kind yes, of the I'm point? Sorry. No, it's okay. So so like in in that sense, it's almost like. So that's his character and you know your cousin for that. But like, so I went to school with people that are from like Alabama and, mm. you know, they tend, they, when we went to like, when we're around each other, like they turned it into like a cyber roast and that shit like had me nervous. I was like, oh God, like I'm, I'm next to be on this roast list. I don't want to yes. be a part of this thing. Like yeah. keep me out, please. Right. But it became like a thing. And I feel like maybe, maybe I don't know your, your fiance, but maybe like he just has to kind of be around more people that are like because not every black person is like that but maybe he just has to understand that it's just certain people our are family our family uncensored our family roast all the time my mom my niece and nephews my siblings all of us do that but they don't it's make just race every, jokes no i mean yeah we talk about white people in front of him nothing is nothing we don't filter what we say around him. It's but just he knows every them time more. he sees man, yeah, he don't really know man. Every time he sees man, man making a joke about him being white. But but yeah. shit, it's shit, not even about shit, the type of shoes he got on. Or maybe it's like white culture. Like this man coming here with some with some uh what's the new balance shoes. It ain't that. It's just like you always make him feel uncomfortable. He's not extroverted like we are. And you just need to know so, who you talking and to. And this is why. So hold on, before you go there. Now, what happens when you go across the pond and you kick it with his family and there's some things that's going on that's making you feel uncomfortable and they don't change their behavior like Eldridge is doing? How, it's, how, it's, what will happen then? Uh, then it's, he should talk to his family. No, no, I'm what if they don't change? Like, Eldridge is changing, but like, I feel like he shouldn't change. Well, we're talking about something that hasn't happened, Keith. It sounds it, no, it like happens. you guys have a solid bond that he would probably protect you. We, with his he family. would, he would. But, but I never. That solid but, if you but, can't vouch for your cousin, no. When I go visit his family and his friends, they never they they make sure I'm good. So is it? It's different culture. So, so, that's that's what, I'm saying. We about, what I'm saying. Well, but can you not vouch for your cousin about, though? Yeah, I know man is good. Can, no, 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 but no. You, can you can can the love of that he has for you? Can you vouch and say, listen, I know I've he taught, might make you. She, taught, can, she can, I've but she don't to, like it either. I've okay. taught. Exactly. She don't like it either. So that's, 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 that's the true. thing. All right, well, there you go. And, and, there you go. And, and, now you're uncovered. And, and, and that's true. That okay. So that's she true. don't like it either. So, that's true. Okay. But see, I, I've i talked to David and I'm like, that's just man. Man always cracking jokes. Especially on my men. He be getting exactly like, like that. Fuck it, man. <laughs> like <laughs> since you were 16 years old, he's been doing this. Yeah, so I've explained that to him and I told him who man is to me. We got that. But I do think there has to be respect on a certain level. If so, you know if you know it bothers him, when you bother him, it bothers me. If you had a wife or a, uh whoever you with. And I said something that offended her, whether I'm trying to be a comedian or not, 
I would respect that, that I wouldn't want to offend her or you. So what I'm saying, I respect you. And if you notice, I haven't did it. Yeah, but I see you always do your eyes like that. Number one, when you lying. <laughs> no, number no, no. Two, have number I, two, have when I you it? like, no, you haven't. But so, number two, when you like offended, you're offended that we're offended, and we're like, no, calm no, down no. A no this is this is why he's this, this, offended. That he can't this, be himself. This is why this he can be himself. This is why I'm a, this is why I'm offended. This is why I'm offended because because David loves you. Right. You love him. You about to marry him. I would literally kill for David. If I ever seen somebody fuck with David, I would kill for him. Just like I look at David the way I look at John. Oh, is that like now as fiance? Or do they have to be like actually married? For no, him now him? because the whole family, like he has passed. He he's has pa pa he's he has passed every test. Probably, probably, probably. He passed every test. My Uncle Clyde, my Aunt Tyne, he passed every test. There's no more test to pass. I, but, I look at him the way I look at John. I roast John every day. Man, yeah, okay. man like, so, do David know that though? Do you and David have a relationship so, like you and so John? We can never get there unless you can get through this. You're right. Nah, that, and, that, and, and what I'm telling you is you're about to stop him from getting through yeah. this and we're never going to get there. Nah, and I'm I, cool I, with I, that. But, my, and I'm cool no, with, I'm but listen, cool. this is the issue. No, no, but hold on. Hold on no, pop, pop. This is, Are you cool with them never getting to that point? Because there is, a, no, there is a bit gonna, of hazing. Gonna, gonna, there is a bit of I'm hazing that goes through. Right. I, like and I understand the family. haze. I understand that he, he, the wanna, last level he of... wanna he wanna be like the big brother, the little big brother that's gonna give my man problems and crack jokes or whatever. Because somebody needs that's cause fine. Because some, he because there also needs to be. I feel like every time white or black, the man that comes into the family, he needs to know that there's one nigga in that family that will fuck <laughs> you up. And I don't fucking play. Like we might even be cool, but I don't but fucking that play. Even... If you fuck with my cousin, and now that, now that you understand that, hey, what's up, bro? You know I'm gonna kill for all but that. But it's not even that. I Damn. got brothers. That's what my brothers. Yeah, are and, for. and I'm not. And I feel and, I'm and on you... that. But I'm not even that. But what I'm saying is, but my thing, I look is, at you him. Cannot like, look, but but look, let me just say this. Like it's, it's at this point, it's a mute point. I'm not doing it anymore. Ever since your mama came to me, I thought. Yeah, I'm but trying. I see that your your feelings are hurt about it. It yeah. is because you are stopping something he that can be that. organic and dope. Mm. Well, like, maybe, maybe so. Maybe, maybe you need to talk to him. So maybe you need to talk to him, and y'all go out and have dinner and explain it to him. But maybe, his, but his, maybe his, it would hit. It would hit different. Let me tell. You, let me tell you something hit, too. I'm, like you, me and you. Me and you, I don't know. Tiffin, you. Tiffin. I cracked the joke. It was like you're pretty, right? I didn't come in here like girl, this, 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 and cracking jokes we don't know each other you have to you cannot Tiffany, come well, no Tiffany. wait a minute let me finish what i gotta say you cannot come at somebody and give them your standards and they just gotta go by your standards and what you define and what they gotta go through you have to give too and let me tell you that you know the best way to do that don't send your mother in law or your wife. I didn't come to me. No, I didn't, come to me. Didn't David has seen anybody. me enough times. David, he did not but what I'm telling anybody. you, what, what I'm telling you is, David has seen me enough times to pull me to the side and say, "Hey, bro, we cool, but he for real, for real, I don't like, like that, that shit." Hold he on, doesn't but, know but, but, like that. So I think that right there, that's also like it's interesting because it's a cultural difference, right? right? You're expecting like a Caucasian male to like come up to you. No, 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 you pissed mama off. I know. That's yeah. why it all came out. I know. And, mama heard and the jokes. Mama got tired of it, and she came to man on her own. Mm. Mama called me that night and told me that she talked to man about it. I didn't. Now, we had left. To, mm. I, I'll, I'll say. I'll say this. I think in, in to what Shia was saying, because you're saying culturally, right? Mm -hmm. But I, it's not just cultural. Mm -hmm. It's just a level of race. It's a level of race involved. That's and, what I mean by culture, race. Culture. But he's already going to be uncomfortable with certain things because he is a white male in a black environment and he's not used to it. Man cracking these uh, jokes, okay, so, which makes him even more so, uncomfortable. And then you expect him to step to you and say, hey, I'm uncomfortable. Yeah, he's not going to do that. Listen, it's listen, not going to happen. Listen, listen, hold on. And, but you, wait, wait, you, you, you have and, the lead in it. At least you know. And 
I don't think now that we're talking about it, it's hindsight. I don't think if he would have like, hey, I don't like you cracking them jokes, man, you would have fucking <laughs> laughed in his face and you would have continued to do it because you that's, that's no, not true. Yeah. You would have felt bad about it. That's not, I wouldn't have felt bad about it. That nigga, would, I felt, I felt bad that my auntie literally like visibly upset mm. that I'm fucking joking and yeah. I joke on everybody. Yeah. Literally. Like, if nobody came to me, I and joke I said on that, everybody. Like, when I said a I very offensive joke. Special, so she well, must, no, he this must man be a is white. Man. Because if he was black, we wouldn't be having this conversation. No, no, hold on. Let me say this. Let me say this. Mm, yes, let, me say, hold, let me say this. Let me tell you why Elsie has a level of offense. Because if there have been inappropriate jokes made before on anybody else in the family, to the point where some people probably even said, like, man, man, what's going in tonight? And y'all didn't tell him to stop on those people, then I can see why he has a level of, well, damn, why y'all telling me to stop for him? One. And then two, because of the culture involved with it, it's like, and it's not just y'all. It's not it's it's something that happens when white people come into a family. It's almost like eggshells is being walked on, which might be deemed as respect, right? But then we don't no, walk on eggshells. We sure with David. No, 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 hold on, listen. You you don't. But Eldridge now has to. And what I'm saying is that happens when you come into the family. Because I'm from South Carolina. He, I'm, I'm from South Carolina, I'm from Charleston. Right, right. I see this and I see it visibly because I always see it between two different factions of black people. White per, a white person walk in, you have some black people who just recognize them as a regular human being, same level, boom. You have another level who's like, man, fuck that white man on some prejudice shit. I ain't holding the door for that, ain't none of that. Then you have the other people who's like, oh, white man here, let me... And it's it is it is it's in the it's in the back of your head. It's not even on Listen, purpose. That shit, it's not even on purpose. Built, that shit is built it's in. Built in. I call, it's built I in. I call BS. It's what? B- yes. Not you, saying you're that. You're not, not, you're not saying we're. Con- you're not, finish. Finish. I'm not saying that that doesn't exist. Okay, you're okay. correct. All right, I cool. call BS with us. Oh, okay. That's right, bullshit. Cool, cool. When he is the butt end of the joke the whole night. You're not cracking. Wait, d- d- listen. Don't don't be just podding and lying, capping. That's the shit y'all say. Don't don't start that because he's the butt end of the joke. Not once that night where you own somebody like you was on David. You, first of all, no, I got on Uncle Paul old ass on his head, standing on his hand. One joke. Like I got on. No, I got on Uncle Paul. I got on Uncle Sean. I got on John. <laughs> the thing is, my jokes for him are funnier. The punchlines are a little harder, so I get it. So, but what I'm saying is, it ain't gonna happen no more. It ain't gonna happen no more. And, then, and, and to David, and like, cause what? I know David gonna watch this. But I feel like uh, David, I fuck with you. I ain't mad at you. Like, we cool. But I'm telling you, like, anybody that knows me knows this is just who my personality is. And I think, I, you know what? And I, I don't blame I, him I at all. I don't blame I him at all. You, I blame y'all. I challenge you to be better. I am that's being your better. Personality. No, you having a tantrum. Because you got pissed off because what she said. So I'm not even going to talk to him like that. We ain't even going to get to know each other. You we can't. It. We can't. Because yeah, you can. can. Yes, I, you can. I, 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 you can I, get to I, know something. I, I said, no, I said, no, I didn't, first, hold on, hold on. I didn't say we're not going to get to know each other. I did not say that. I said we're never going to go there. And what's there? The highest level the, of there is the highest level of authenticity. Yeah. There is the most comfortable. Other, right? nah, to, no, to, no, to, it, no. It, it, so if you're not, no, deep, let, me tell, let me explain. What something. I'm trying to say, uh, Tiffany, I'm, I'm, I'm a part of a fraternity, right? An organization, right? I can meet a random brother. He's in my organization, but once you start lining up on things you've been through, if you don't pass a certain line of stuff you've been through, yeah, I can bring you in as a brother, but I can't bring you in as a frat. Why? Because you don't even, you can't even get past some of these ba- hazing. Let's call it a hazing thing. Yeah, let's call it that. hazing. That's why I didn't pledge. I'm a grown ass woman. But anyway, but no, 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 pause. You, no, 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 no. You can't. You can't just cut it off. What no. I'm saying is, hazing though happens in Astro Marine Brothers Semper Fi. They yeah, and it's not haze. right. It's not right. Mm-mm. There has to be a hazing process. No. You got hazed on your job before you got the, no, the those, those first ninety. So you didn't have to do ninety days before you got your benefits and all that. No, they said you got hired. You got benefits the very next exactly. day. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I, now, I, we need, now, I need that now, job. Now she mad. That's what I'm saying. I need that now job. She mad. We can, don't know hey, look, is hiring you. You benefits can, the next day. We, do I, you want to? Do you want to edit this conversation out of the pot? Offer letter. Question: Do you want to edit this conversation out of the pot? No, we can keep it. Okay. Let's be authentic. Because I can tell you mad now. Yeah. Like you didn't do no what, hazing what, on your. I'm just trying what, to figure out. I'm what, serious. What I'm telling you, so we, you can, just, we can we can edit it out for real, for real. I interviewed for the position. I got the position. I got all my benefits. And they kicked in the next week. Yes. 
Yes. Okay. Well, oh, I'm gonna cut it out. Well, let me let me just let me just the government my, my, my no, meditative. I, we'll talk later. <laughs> okay. You know? I got I got but because yeah. all right, so I, I'm bringing, no, it, I'm bringing it back. But you have to admit though, that's rare. Most jobs don't just give you benefits to very. Well, I didn't know that. No, you really I swear to God, that? I didn't. The, All your brothers and sisters two, are cousins. The two job, yeah, but I, I don't want to like. Talk, okay, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like it's different types of jobs. When I graduated, and I got my first job. I got my offer letter. I didn't. I got all my benefits. So I'm gonna put a bet out there. Mm-hmm. I'm betting a hundred dollars that David and and Eldridge are gonna be besties. Yeah, and and uh, he can't, they and, can't, and, and at they, this they baby won't, shower, they they women. won't they won't be they won't be besties. They won't be besties because. <laughs> And but let, you never know what's gonna happen in the. Because he has to be able to take them jokes. Conversation comes out. He gotta be able to take them jokes. He'll be able to. I have disagree with that, and we just have to agree. What, to what, disagree. I, what I'm saying is, so. what I'm saying is, hold this, on. Let, last thing, last thing. So growing up, you never befriended the person that y'all was always about to fight. And once you realize, me and man, me and man used to fight each other all the time. No, I'm saying right. like but that's, that's what, a man to man. And kind maybe, of thing. And, and maybe that might be a man thing because like once you realize, oh, you can handle your own, I can handle my own. Then we should we should I, be linking up. Like so women don't start boxing. Each here's the issue too. I think I think that's there is a lot. Y'all, 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 but y'all do caddy. Y'all, y'all, y'all do shade though. Y'all throw shade at each other. I think and, and she can and cool she can take enough shade. Like I think there is too friend. many or, or she can kids. That's not a friend. I think there's too many women filters between me and David. I agree with that. I feel like there's too many women because she just said it. She just said it. Like what we described was a man thing. Yeah. So I don't think I feel like so so when so when so when. You know, me and David talking, I tell him who you are, how close That's you are. That's a filter still. Then, no, but I tell him that me and you are close and we joke and stuff like that. But I never came to you and I never said anything to you about it. I left it alone. But they you all, know your mama said something to me. You know that. Because mama called me that exactly. night. so you know but, I know. But what I'm saying is he, and you know, he I know, offended I know, my mom. You met my mom. I know you know so your you know mama called me. So I know you, you know your mama called about me. about your mom's style as well growing up. So I get a feel for how your mom yeah, is. Yeah, but about her mom my mom is strong. Which is, but, which but, is, but, is hold on, let me tell you something. But, and, 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 no, and this, she called me that night and she said that she talked to you. She talked to you And I know you know that. Yeah. I don't know you know that. So what I'm telling you is it wasn't us talking to David like we're going to, we're going to, you know, <laughs> that but didn't happen. But it was, happen. there was a form of this. What I'm no. trying to tell Y'all going to let this let me, nigga let me, talk let me, to me let, like that? Let me tell you. Let, let me tell you. Let me tell you. <laughs> did, did y'all apologize for me? Yes or no? No. Okay. So and not one time y'all didn't say we apologize for his behavior. No. Uh, uh, when, uh, I don't know either. about mama. I know she did. I don't well, know about her. Then, then, let me ask you this, LJ. Let me ask you this. Do you also have a level of... Because I go through this sometimes. I'm about to be with a white woman. No, no listen, listen. And that's how I'm going to come back this. Listen. And I'm going to let her talk about his ass. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's like that's like when Gary Owens used to have his wife come on stage and say, I can't say it, but she can. All you niggas. Like she's, but, but, My white but, woman going to be on his ass. Let me, let me ask you this, though. Is, do you have a level of put it out there, do you have a level of prejudice that when you see black people and you feel like they might be cowtown to a white person, it just does something to you? It might not even be true, but it just does. Oh, oh, hell yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. So, so, guys, so, you, so you hear that do you line feel, of, Do you feel like we're cowing down to David? Oh, not, no. Uncle Sean was when he got, got off his seat because he, he voted for Trump and you know that. Yes, yeah, so you know. So that. maybe so, that's what triggered so, it. But so, 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 what, so that's what I'm trying to tell you. Wait, when so what I'm so, with so, this, what, this is what I want to say. Prejudice this is what I want to say. I've been on this too long. I've been on this too long. David, I love you. This cat. No, I do. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 no, genuinely, I love David because like he makes my cousin happy. Okay. I've seen every relationship she's been in. She deserves the love that David is giving her. I appreciate you. That. Believe that. I do. Thank you. No, okay. I love him. Okay. I do. I definitely love him. I would love for you to understand what my personality is and who I am. What I'm willing to do is to curtail my personality. But in curtailing my personality for your comfortability, it's going to make our connectivity a little bit longer than it should be, in my opinion. So I, what I'm saying is, I fuck with you. But the advancement of our relationship because I'm not going to do these jokes anymore is officially on you. And if our relationship never moves farther, 
it's because it was never going to move in the first place because I'm doing my part now and I'm not going to joke anymore. All right, yeah, we can live with that. that. That's really mature. Right? Now I, I can't that. believe Elgin's done got out here and kowtowed to their white man. <laughs> that, that was, <laughs> hey, but look, that's love. But, but, <laughs> but I'm just saying, y'all. I mean, y'all. That was love. That was love. For every, me, everybody yeah. else knows it. C- Cody, Cody worked for me. Now everybody that see Cody pull up, they be like, man, who is this white boy that worked for Elgin? Like, cause y'all, everybody know how I am. But I don't be holding no bars with Cody, yeah. at all. And that motherfucker had to get used to that shit. It, 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 he probably has. He, he mar- he's married to a black woman. He's he married, married to, a to a sister. Uh, okay. Yeah, see, and that's, that's the thing. He's married to a sister. But guess so. what? When, when Cody, when he, what I gave him, I gave him a book on reparations. Mm-hmm. I said, look, you need to learn this shit because if we get it, you going to split it because your wife get it. <laughs> that is? Like, that I'm going gonna, gonna, gonna to give you the information in the game. So at the end of the day, it, I apologize for offending you. I ain't apologize for offending him. I'm doing this for you. <laughs> I no, am. But for real, because, you know, that's a good example, too, because the way Cody moves with elders, right, in some of the blackest spaces in America, Man, I took, how could how could David be there with, with Eldridge if they don't have that relationship? And he can't tell David, hey, look, when you walk in here, don't say nothing. And David don't feel offended on something. Like, literally, oh, I, I have to nothing. tell Cody. Don't say nothing. Because I have I'm, took Cody I'm to protected. a mosque. I've took him to a Masonic hall. I've took Cody to a pan-African. Like, literally, I have had clients say, Hey, bro, who this white boy coming in here? But because it's me, they cool with it. And the only reason why he's able to be in that space as comfortable as he is, because I'm telling them what it is. When you go in here, bro, don't say shit. Just shoot. Mm-hmm. They're going to go around the room. They're going to they're gonna introduce everybody. It, they're going to skip you. And that's cool. They'll be okay that's with cool, it. But Cody is choosing to be in that environment. But and he, David is choosing to be with my cousin in your family, yes. in our family. Yes. It's right. the same thing. Right. But what but I'm telling every, you is we everyone, don't solve it. We don't solve yeah, it. Yeah, but everyone in our family we, don't have that same opinion. But it's still our family. It's still, I respect I'm your opinion. I'm still our family. I, I know. I'm still I res- our family. Listen, I respect your opinion and I respect how you feel, but he doesn't have to jump through these hoops for you. He don't. And I just said it. That's what we just said. And I just said it. But I'm just saying that we have to realize that we cannot control other people's life and they choose what they want to do and what they want to be around and what they want to be But we're controlling in. me. No. You don't have to respect what mama said. You I, don't have to. I do. I, I do if I, I love you. I do. Exactly. I do. Because you have a respect for mama. Mama. I got respect for you. I ain't worried about uh, no offense on time. I ain't worried about that. I'm talking about you. Yeah, this is like yeah, this is I a think y'all you thing. Respect mom too. I respect Aunt Tanya. I respect Aunt Tanya, but she I was would, hurt by it. As but Aunt well. be sensitive too. I'm sensitive. So what I'm saying is, I'm talking about you. I'm not doing this for Aunt Tanya. Like Elsa really could, didn't turn. I could put you. Kind of really told him how you felt on the pod. I then, can put. I can put. I can so put hurt. that on wet. I love Aunt Tanya, but I know how Aunt Tanya is, yeah. and that's cool. And you, and but what I'm saying is, you don't like it, so I'm doing it for you. Well, I appreciate that. Love, yeah. and, and I appreciate that you don't have to do it and you're choosing to do it. You yeah. know? Yeah. I'm too And no. I appreciate that. So I just want But you know I I've want always... David to see me when next time see me <laughs> to know we cool. I just want him to walk up and be like, hey, what's up, my nigga? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me ask you this. Last question on he David. He would never say that. Has David ever done this though? No, <laughs> she did. Nah, I don't know. He no. did wear. He did wear that she could knit with him. He yeah, he's he's okay with the <laughs> you know what I mean. He didn't feel uncomfortable. He was wearing a dashiki. Like I bring him everywhere I go. I mean, you know what I'm saying. I, I understand that, but I and you said your piece. Yeah. I, I need to say this though. You do have to let a man be a man. Not white man, not black man. Just man on man. And when that happens, don't interfere, don't interfere. Don't even don't no opinions on it. Let men come together as men. But I just wanted to let y'all know that I did not step we know in between. We no, know no, that. No, we know. We could tell you didn't, but but that. what we're saying is we this is gonna be a men translate things differently than women do. Right. So you and your mother, respectful, did that, and we understand that part. Now the next part is gonna be on some man on man stuff, and however that transpires, it's cool gonna be out. Of, it's, gonna, and it's gonna be out of love. It's not gonna be no beef, but mm-hmm. it has to mature. Yeah, on I'm some cool with that. I wasn't on no Samuel Jackson. <laughs> that move with the white foot. All just jokes, just jokes, just jokes. I mean, but again, we this is where we at. <laughs> <laughs> I got. I ain't gonna lie. I got jokes, but my jokes are funnier than Eldridge. So I don't think you would have came at me like how you do with Eldridge. <laughs> my jokes is way funny. 
I had a joke for him when I met when I was gonna see him, but it wasn't like a joke about oh. him. It was about David. I had been thinking about this conversation. I didn't know we were gonna have it on the pod. Right. I've been prepared to see him. Like, cause I was gonna tell him a joke and like to be cool with him, but it wasn't about him. But it was a white joke. Okay. So what's like, the joke? All right, so <laughs> this, I'm ready about it. So, so, <laughs> So I'm Look, like, I'm like, oh okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, what's up, David? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm like, what's up, man? So you know how you talk. So uh, I was like, man, I got a joke, man. So there's two black guys walking, and one of them got a dollar in his pocket, the other one got 98 cents. They walk by a sign that says, "We can turn you white for 99 cents." So the men get excited. They're like, oh shit, man, we can turn white. So they come up with a plan. The guy with the dollar said he gonna go in there and get the surgery, and then when he come back with his penny, he gonna give it to the other guy so he can get it. So he go in there, he come out, he perfectly white, you know what I'm saying? He got the, the fine jawline, blue eyes, blonde hair. So then his friend was like, oh shit, that shit worked, bro. Let me get a penny, dog, let me get a penny so I can do it. He looked at him and said, get a fucking job, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> And y'all laughing that hard. Like, you stupid as fuck, man. This is After your aunt came and had this conversation with you, this is the joke you wanted to go That's back. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> go back and tell him. He, he over there crying. He over there crying. <laughs> but that wasn't. Come on. Come on. Come on. It was just so. I'm like, bro, I feel you. <laughs> no, I, I, I get it. I get no, it. I'm it not doing it no more, man. It's well, done. It's you done. know your man, so how would his face be after he's told this type of joke? As red as her shirt? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah. like, those are my jokes. Now, would your mom be mad at that? No. See, she funny. wouldn't. That's what I'm saying, man. But if I would have said, as red as when the slave master used to whip your slaves. <laughs> Man. See what I'm saying? Okay. That's the Come difference. Come on, I ain't never did no shit like that. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> you just heard that way, right? That was a funny one. That that's shit a, was that's, funny. It's actually a classic joke. That's actually yeah. a, it's, a joke. it's a classic joke. It's a classic <laughs> that shit is funny. Come on, bro. Like, see, shit be less funny when you white man. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, man. Uh, for real. Um, it's done. It ain't gonna happen no more. We good. This is good content though. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> so says she still don't give her white man. So you not you ain't changed her mind. I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that. Y'all all look at me like you said. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I just wanna love. I wanna to love and be loved. I didn't care what race it was. I didn't put any restrictions for race. No, nah, I get it. I is is another combo in there because you saw my uh my my sorrow. I went to high school together. And uh, she kind of did the same thing you did in, in the twenties. Like she was really trying to find somebody in her twenties. Mm -hmm. But I was trying, and she was like about to be a doctor. And she was, like, I want somebody to match my income. And this. and I was like, man, you in your twenties? Ain't no, it's it's it's, it's hard to find it, that. It's, it's hard to find a brother that's doing that. Yeah, you find because she ended up getting an Asian. Dude. But yeah, you find an Asian dude that's doing that because he's in the same. Oh uh, man, if David was Asian, boy, that give me a whole bunch of jokes right there, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it would hey, depend, depend on what kind of Asian hey, he was. But no, oh, shit. Because he was like the Fast and the Furious type Asian. Y'all would have been cool. Yeah, I'm not I'm like, I need that guy. Dang. You want ammo? Oh, Asian oh, they, they don't marry outside. But like I was telling her, like during that time, right. like she was like, you. Whatever. I was, career. what, 29? Yeah, when I met him. Yeah, so like brothers didn't mm. get their paper until they but, about 32. I mean, it got, it got real because I was like, these guys out here, a lot of, a lot of people, I'm not going to say gender, a lot of people know enough information to sound intelligent, mm. to sound like they got it together. Mm. But when you dig deeper, they full of shit. You know what I mean? So Don't just look to, at me when you say that. No, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> She's still mad at you, but she, you look directly at me. You, you said no, full of shit. Full of shit. No, you you shit. motherfuckers. I'm just, I'm just talking. Uh, I'm just I'm looking like, at everybody. With it? So my thing is, it's just hard to find good people in general. So I was talking to my parents like, I'm never going to settle. I love living on my own. Mm. It didn't scare me. I had my own peace. So if I was going to bring someone into my life, they could not disturb my peace. Mm -hmm. So I was talking to my parents about in vitro, right? Like, what if I never find somebody, but I'm getting older and I want to have a child? We was having these conversations, mm. right? So my whole thing was just finding that person 
they adds to your life and you add to their life. I'm just big about not settling. So if that's why I say people need to know who they are, comfortable living on their own by themselves and and get to know themselves, what they stand for, what they want. Don't let society, don't tell other don't let other people tell you what you want and how you should live. Live your life how you want to live and then you find someone. And if they don't compliment you, don't fucking settle. I like that. I like that. Can, can, can I ask a question before we wrap? Yeah. Because you, 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 you settled, right? I mean, not settled, but settled down. Right. Say. Yeah. Are men full of shit out here, Shio? Are you, are you, are you engaged? I am not engaged. Okay. So are men full of shit out here? So I believe, you know, you speak, you know, you, you attract what you speak, there right? There you go. There you go. So, I mean, I believe that there's diversity. Of people, <laughs> you know. I told you like, every time women come on the podcast, they just know how to use those words. <laughs> I'm not gonna say everybody full of shit. I'm gonna say some diverse shit out here. <laughs> there's diverse, right? There's a diverse experience, and you know, I feel like the society, like you said, people. I feel like the society is just kind of like we're going through like a. But personally, I, I feel like we're going through kind of like a changing a, with the times, like a watered down intellect. That's happening. Oh like, yes, in our yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. The yeah. dumber you are, yeah. the cooler you are, the yeah. smarter you are. It's like, oh, motherfuckers yeah. ain't reading no more. It's fake. It's fake smart. Yeah. It's a lot of it's, po- it's fake head, smart. Headline. Headline. Everybody's a psychologist. Headline. Yeah. Everybody scholars. have anxiety and depression. Mm. Like you should I, I have. Anx- you, had a <laughs> you 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 should have anxiety. You didn't prep. Right, mm-hmm. you don't have the disorder. You should feel anxious. Yes. You should be depressed. Yes. You make fucked up decisions in your life. You should be unhappy where you are. You ain't that, no should therapist, be, are you? that should be motivation for you to get your shit together. <laughs> she yeah. married a white man. And I, and I, no, and listen, I think, you're not a therapist, are you? <laughs> no. Oh, okay, good. girl, you ain't depressed. You just fucked up. Next, <laughs> you got no anxiety. You but, ain't prepared. But Next, you know what I mean? Like everybody hear these words. Nah, you're and right. You're right. You're right. They, no, they don't really right. know the it's, it's, it's Charlotte's right. main fault. It's, it's it's yeah, becoming more common man. for people to just use younger use kids words. to use these words definitely, and I I also feel like it's like almost like because it's like I'm hearing the fifty fifty culture where it's like oh every you know it's like a thing. Hold on. What's up? What fifty fifty? Hell, like nah. splitting bills at restaurants fifty fifty. Like it's like a debate that men right. are having. You talking with about women, broke niggas? You know, and broke women. It's, it's that's some, why that conversation is had women are going to restaurants oh, okay, okay. to just eat food and they don't even like a guy and they're just like oh i'm going to eat Broke food foodies, foodies. so yeah. it's a it's a food watered down society that's happening so i believe there's quality men out here i wasn't focused on dating for like a solid minute i was very focused on um so my father was immunocompromised and i was just like really focused on his like okay health and well-being mm-hmm. and he passed 2021 so now so i'm starting to yeah. thank you Condoses. thank you so now i'm starting to like kind of like come out again and see what's out here and i'm like okay so this is what this mm. is what's outside <laughs> now, i'm like okay exactly. i want to ask you specifically but like upper 30s lower 30s where you at guess lower 30 yes you're right yeah. we're, we're in the same age range yeah i'm 32 okay yeah. what's up yeah, so yeah. I'm 36 yeah, so, oh, you were going to say, like, <laughs> am I freezing my eggs? Is that, was that your next I was going to ask you. Know, I, was gonna ask you. <laughs> but I heard it's geriatric at 35. I learned that, like, it three is. days ago. I'm going to be a geriatric, geriatric. mother. Geriatric. Yeah, 35. Uh, pregnancy or something like that. 35 and up geriatric. <laughs> oh, you mean, like, from the doctors and the pregnant? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Geriatric. I was like, God damn. But Tamron Hall had her baby at, like, 42. But it's like a lot of women. Jenny Jackson. Jenny Jackson. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can have your baby when you want to have her. Yeah. Especially if she's doing some money. As long as they got their ovulating, ovulating. Yeah, <laughs> and that's I agree you gotta with be the don't and not settle, folliculing. You know I mean? That's really important. Like, and I will never settle, Pete, especially if I'm saying I want to be someone who doesn't want to have to work. Oh, yeah. If well, I if I don't want to have figures. to work, I need to enjoy you. Right. <laughs> like, I need to enjoy my time. Right. The presence. I don't right. want to be in prison. I right. feel liberated in this experience. No, I believe yeah. in. I believe in genes. You better be careful who you had your babies by. Oh yeah. Intelligence Genetic. is hereditary. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, genetics is. But you're not saying right. black men are dumb, right? No, I'm okay. saying dumb people in general don't have a baby by him. <laughs> I like now. That's last thing I like what uh, Chris Rock said. 
if you had paid for your own abortion, you should get an abortion. abortion. <laughs> and you said, of course, I want a six figure guy. Is that what you said? <laughs> I mean, six figures is not that much money. I know. That's what I'm saying. He at but least needs he, to make that money. That's why I said to support a household. Support yeah, yeah, like it needs that. to be. I didn't like uh, oh, really? higher six figures. Like because a hundred thousand, I can't stay at home. Like I'll be working. I'll be no, no, six no. Weeks that's why I said. The, that's why I said. Stay at home <laughs> depend on type of home. <laughs> yeah, I, I need I need comfort. Like the lifestyle I live <laughs> you autonomously. You stay, <laughs> I mean, you stay, you stay uh, at home. Well, now nah, I need to go to Africa. If you can't get that trip, but no, nah, I, I get it. I, that's yeah. why I said minimum six figures based on what you're describing. Ladies, yeah. what do y'all want to say on the way out on this pod? First of all, I have I enjoyed y'all. I hate that y'all. it's over. Like, I, I wish, like, we had, because I want to ask you more questions and stuff, too. I felt like me and you went down a rabbit hole, but I feel yeah. good. We had our own little therapy session, you it know, for everybody to watch. But yeah. It was my we, plan the whole time. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I, I would. It was it was a good conversation. I'm glad y'all had to work out. You know, worked out whatever needed to work out because it's important. So no, yeah. Shia, you're, you're gonna be back. We had to talk about that Geechee. Yeah, uh, yeah. I would love to you. talk about like yeah, you know that, yeah. Africa and you know bridging gaps and yeah. cultural. Yeah, yeah we yeah, definitely talk about bridging gaps for sure. Yeah, for sure, you for sure. know. But I love I love what y'all had here and that we talked about women's health and stuff. So I appreciate you guys having me here. And, you know, keep being funny, keep being yourself. It's a beautiful energy, you know, so keep being you. Because with my white man, no red light, stop, no show. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> and then oh, we don't no. talk about the jokes that just set up. <laughs> we don't talk about that. But, you know, what? I'm putting my hand in my pocket. You know, <laughs> in this podcast. You said it's set up. <laughs> Man, but look, man, you know, thank y'all sisters again. Uh, y'all, this is episode 196. Six. And we, we have one more week of Black Women History Month thank you. before we get back to the bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we say it every week. We love y'all. We need y'all. But most importantly, we can't wait to see y'all next week. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Just Eldridge Podcast. City with T.I. Outcasts and ooh we Everybody know about Atlanta, it's just a cool G. Everybody know about the scammers, about the trappers And what we living now, it's just that lifestyle Turn on my podcast, I'm trying to hit it real now Hear perspective, we on to keep it real now Every day we on the grind Sometimes it's hard to tune out the outside Oh, oh, It's just Eldridge, it's just Eldridge Podcast, tune in on the podcast, yeah. Real things, you know we gon' last, yeah. Kick it back, kick it back, kick it back.